It has been two years. Hello everybody! I did it again, I always do it like the moment the background music stops actually playing notes. That's when I start the stream, there we go. Anyway, hello everybody! Hi hi, happy Sunday! Welcome back to Talos 2 Electric Boogaloo! We're going back on holiday and into the area with lots of leaves. So I look forward to being a PowerPoint again. But hi everybody, welcome on in, happy Sunday! Maury, congratulations on the first! <laughs> you got one! I'm so glad. Hello! Hi, Bree! You were here before the stream started. I see you. I see you hiding there. <laughs> uh, Dra Draradek, thank you so much for, for stopping in. Hello, lovely to see you. And Gambler, oh my goodness, the two year mark. The two year sub. The 24 months. That is so wild. Feels like such a, a long time. It's so it's so interesting. I feel like time flies. It really doesn't feel like I've been streaming for as long as I have. <laughs> like it's I like I blink and a year has passed. I don't know what what happens. I don't know how it happens. But uh, welcome, welcome everybody. I am so excited to do some more Talos because I'm I really love this DLC so far. I've been having so much fun with it, and I'm really really excited to experience more because not only is there like the the one last area to complete which uh hopefully won't give me as much trouble as the the blue puzzles did uh that that was an adventure last week but uh we're moving on to the the red area see what kind of puzzles we have here and then i also have the uh the statues to do the the obelisk things the monuments the Prometheus, Sphinx, Pandora stuff. I am doing all of those. Before I move on to the third DLC, I am going to be doing all of those. I'm going to be completing that. So I'm excited for that as well, because I we found the one Sphinx and got a little diagram thing. And I need to figure out where those squares could be and what they could be, because I'm... I they've it's been a couple of things before like there have been like some of it was like on the ground and then others was like little pillars so that's gonna be interesting to figure out to try and find anything around the world that looks like it would match <laughs> that image I found so I'm very excited for that but yeah I'm just I'm just ready for puzzles I'm like I I, I switched off my brain yesterday to, to scream a little bit and by scream, I mean, like, n narrate. <laughs> I'm still, I, I, st I, if anyone missed my stream yesterday, I did a karaoke stream, a throwback karaoke, which was um, emo, pop punk alternative, etc. from the mid 2000s. Uh, I did Silverstein, Smile in Your Sleep. I forgot there's like a whole little screamo bridge in that. So I kind of just read it dramatically. 
instead of screaming. I think I did an incredible job of the, the screaming in it, honestly. Who, who knew I had it in me? Who knew I could scream so well? I'm, I'm just a, a natural screamo vocalist. Oh, uh, yeah, it was yesterday. Oh, I'm so sorry if you missed it. It's it's sadly unarchived because of copyright stuff, because I used all the original backing tracks for the songs because I like them. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping there will be a way to at least share clips and stuff. I feel like I'm, I'm less likely to get attacked for copyright if it's just like a tiny little snippet. So I do Real intend... Oh my goodness, thank you for the resub, Melimea. Hello, seven months. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you so much, welcome in. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to make clips from it either way. I, I wanna share clips. Mostly like me, me singing Blink-182, I miss you in the most serious fashion. As you can imagine, very seriously, yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm ready now. I'm, honestly, I am surprised at how okay my throat is today. Because I was singing for like three and a half hours yesterday. <laughs> I kept saying, oh, I'm going to set myself a cutoff time for 10 o'clock. And then I did not stop at 10 o'clock. <laughs> but I think the fact that I was drinking warm drinks while I was singing and drinking lots of water as well in between definitely helped me. And like, I don't have a sore throat or anything today. So that, that was a, a nice surprise. I was fully expecting to have no voice today, <laughs> but I'm okay, which is just as well. Cause I'm ready to go on holiday to the Isle of the Blessed, which I am six hours into now. So let's see how long it takes me to finish up. I've already done. Yeah. Oh, which. Did I do this? Oh, this is the... Hold on. Did I do this? Yeah, I did do this. Oh! Oh, I remember why I'm here. I remember why I'm here. I was looking for the key. Last time... Last time I played this... I found a treasure map. I found a treasure chest. I found a cassette player. And apparently there's a key somewhere around here, and I cannot find the key. Did I save the treasure map on here? No. Did I save the image I did of the treasure map? Is it this? No. Is it this? There! Yes! <laughs> I'm like, that's not a treasure work. That's a, clock a clockwork one. Uh, this is the treasure map I found. I found a map, and I found the cave with the treasure chest in, and I found the cassette player by the crabs. But I've not found this key yet. And this map doesn't really help much. It's very, very vague. But I know it's like in this general area. So I gotta find it. I gotta find this key. That's why I went into that puzzle. I was really confused for a second, because I was like, I know I've already solved this one. <laughs> Why did I save here? And then I turned around and saw the rock that I'd been examining from every angle. And I was suddenly remembered. Right, I've looked everywhere on this rock. I don't think the key is on this rock. Key. <laughs> oh, also, Jack, hello. Thank you for the hydrate and posture check as well. Let me, yeah, let me start with that before I start looking for key. I will have a big stretch and crack open my monster. I've got the mango. I've got the mango monster today because if we're going on holiday, I want mango. Mango. I'm pretty sure mango was mentioned at some point as well. But I love mango flavored things. But uh, I'm going to find this key. It's like, I, I feel like if it was here, I would know. The only thing now is like, I'm, I'm a little worried. Like, I don't know. Like, is this going to be like a really small key? Do I have to look very carefully now? That is, that is, those are leaves. Those were dead leaves. Tree. 
do you know the crabs? Do you have a key? I don't think they have a key, but they're so cute. Also, Artem, hello as well. And ooh-la-la, la, la, la Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Uh, what key am I looking for? I'm looking for the key that is marked on this treasure map that I found. I found a I found a treasure map in the sand behind the, the green... Oh, green? Blue. Behind the blue one. Behind the blue laser thingy blobby. And I found the other two things on this treasure map, but it's clearly a chain. And the key is the first part of the chain, and that's like the one that I didn't find. So I'm, I'm just going to search for a little bit. I'm going to start by having a good look around <laughs> and hoping I spot it. But, uh, oh, I forgot the back seating message. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I forgot. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, you never even found that map. I, I only found it because I was on the malaria and I noticed like there was a, a bit of ground that looked like you could walk down it. So that made me suspicious. So I immediately walked down it. And there was like a little message in a bottle there. And I, I I found the cave thing. I found the crab thing. I've just not found this key, which is just like somewhere around here. Hold on. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's try this. Uh, let's try this to look for a key. Is there a key around here? If it's a small key, this will not work. But maybe it's a big key. What's that? Oh, it's a daisy. Hold on. Wait, I, th I, I feel like I saw something. No, it's a, a tree. Okay. You know what? I think it is easier for me to simply look. Though I don't know why. I, I feel like that might have been a good idea if there weren't so many trees and bushes here so that I could actually see things but it's like with the amount of foliage in the way here it's more cumbersome to try and move the camera around like that is there one like hiding in a bush somewhere oh. I don't know where key would be it's so scary as well when I oh never mind okay that's that's huge <laughs> This key is massive. <laughs> Did I really just not run past here at any point? That's a, that, that key is huge. Oh, that's so funny. I guess I didn't. I guess I never ran past this rock. This specific rock. I never looked down at it. I found the key. Well, you know what that means. You know what that means. It means I'm running. And the rest of it I can just do as we move through the red area, because the red area is this whole right-hand side of the treasure map. Oh, that's a puzzle. I did that. I did the Prometheus. I got the hint for the Sphinx. I don't know how many more of them there are. I think it said the... Did it say there were two of each? One of these signs mentioned something about them. Not that one. Not that one. One of these mentioned... Here. There are six monuments. Okay, so I've, I've completed two. I found another one. I, I saw the other Prometheus too. So there's two I still haven't seen yet, which is another Sphinx and another Pandora, I presume? They could shake it up. I don't know yet. But yeah, I've done the puzzles in the green area. I've done the puzzles in the blue area. And I'm now moving on to the red one. And I've already done three. So I have started. And let's just teleport. So then if we look at the map here, we can see that from where I am now... I don't know which way is which. The way that's not towards four this way yes yes the secret cave I found was around here it's around here I remember I remember right here where was it 
Was it? Oh, it was in here? Here. Where was it? Here. No. <laughs> I know there is one somewhere. Uh, oh, did I go over the bridge? I think I may have gone over the bridge first. Did I? Oh, I'm second guessing myself so much now. I love that I found it last time and now, now I'm just like, I don't know. Oh, hi. <laughs> hello. Also, Lyra, hello. Wait, Keyblade. <laughs> the smallest Keyblade though. I, I feel like it's, it's a large key, but it would be a tiny Keyblade. It's, it's like a key ornamental paper cutter, like a letter opener. Key dagger. Wait, that sounds cooler. Yeah, let's go key dagger. <laughs> I'm so sure it was around here. I remember the water. I remember hearing like, there was like a sound like something dropping in the water. And I was looking around and there was a little cave somewhere. I thought it was here. I really thought it was here. I'm mistaken. Hmm. Oh, it's right here. It's right. I found it. I found it. Wow, I remembered it was here the whole time. But now that I have the key, that means I can open this. I've got a tape. I've got a cassette tape. And I know where the player is. Ha ha ha. But uh, we're gonna wait to listen to that until I get around to that part of the map. Like, I'm gonna do some more puzzles before I get there. So, hold on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. I just wanted to do that. <laughs> I just wanted to remove the, the map from my screen. And I did that. Oopsie. <laughs> Beware of Mimic. Oh, remember thinking this cave was some Easter egg reference. I think it's still possibly like this whole treasure hunt could just be like a silly easter egg i have a feeling it's just a silly easter egg but i can't wait to see what's on this tape eventually i've just picked it up now and i'm gonna keep everyone in suspense nobody's gonna know what is on it until i get around to where the crab part is on the map and then i will and then i'll put it in the cassette player and maybe we'll have a nice tune to listen to maybe we'll have a uh, philosophical pondering. Who knows? Also, Zariad, hello! Welcome, welcome! It's you. You're just Zariad. That is fine. I'm just Luri. Kiki. <laughs> but welcome, welcome! Welcome to puzzle time. Right. Four is back this way. Oh, this is four. This is four! Hey, we're in the right spot. So last time I did puzzles one to three. And... I think the main mechanic for here was like, we've got the, I've forgotten the name of them, the blobs that you connect them and they go boom and they disactivate things, deactivate things. Uh, the, 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 okay, never mind. I said that and there doesn't seem to be one in this puzzle. Never mind. But either way, I like those things. It got more lasers here though. Oh, I love lasers. I love lasers. <laughs> But oh, ooh la la, ooh la la, oh my goodness, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Thank you for, for sending me a sub. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the ad free viewing. Thank you for the support. Look at the lasers. Oh yeah, I think I, I saw the name of this one being the Euclidean palette. And I was like, this is not a 1am puzzle. Let me do it at the start of the stream this week. So now that I found that cassette, I feel like I can do this very successfully. Oh, hello. I see. So if we do that and the green, that'll... Hmm. Right, we've got a grab shifter. So I feel like the first thing to do is bring this over here. Okay, that's connected to blue now. Now that that's connected to blue... Hmm. Will that work? No, it, it needs two lasers attached to it. 
Oh, but now that it's done that, I can just attach the green to it like that. So now we made it red. It's gone a little glitchy. I think we start by connecting it to red. Okay, so we got it connected to red. We'll also connect it to green. And that means we have blue up there. Oh, no, the... Can I get it far enough back? Yes, it goes over the... Over the... Over the gate. Nice! And so now this is blue, so we can open this. I move it far enough back again. Yes. So this is now open. Oh, and with that being open, I'll connect it to that too, so it can keep itself open. For when I take this and move this away, ha ha. I know what I'm doing, I love lasers. But, oh, I think Red had your favorite puzzles of the three sections. I'm so excited then. I'm, I'm already loving all of them. I, I was surprised by how tricky the blue ones were. I think because in my mind I'd made like a like a traffic light system almost like i'd go like green blue red in difficulty and it's not that way it even said at the start it's like you can do these areas in any order you like and the blue ones were they, they involved a lot of thinking outside the box which was incredibly fun but also Okay, so that is just connected to blue now. But I need to connect to red as well. Oh, but the problem here is I only have two connectors, so... I don't think there's a way I can get this down, but ideally I need to be able to connect this to here. I don't think I can do that. Hmm. Right, let me let me bring this all the way back. Let me let me have a think. Let me have a thunk. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait! Wait! Hey! Oh, I forgot to connect the blue though. Ah. I've got to connect that blue. It, this will work when I do it like that, but I need I need to move this back. So that I can set up the blue stuff again, like, because I'm going to have to pick this up. So that I can connect it to here as well. But now I connect it to all four of these little... blobbies. I reconnect the green laser up to there, so it... Oh, yeah, I need to send it all the way back around. Back around to here! Oh! Oh, the green is not far back enough now. Yeah, I got it. I got this. I got this. Okay, so now that's powered up. We got the blue. Blue is self-sustaining now. Blue is fine. We've got blue sorted. So now I just bring this all the way back. And if I pick up that... It should be red... So I can just do that. Yeah, I did it! I like this. I like Lisa's. I love Lisa's. Also, Lumsev, hello! Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Have I have I mentioned how much I love lasers? I love lasers. Oh, uh, the last puzzle in the green section really was one the thanks to you. Yeah, hello? that... Yes, Alcatraz? Oh, hi. That photo you took of me and Byron to celebrate our reconciliation? Yes. Is it great? Nothing. It's perfect. It's great, isn't it? It's a Melville photo. It's going to be great. It's going to be incredible. You might be able to tell who it is. <laughs> Little Umsev, hello, and thank you so much for the 35-month sub as well. I, c I can't believe it's been that long. That's, that's so close to the three-year mark now. Oh, wow. <laughs> thank you so much for always being here. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, the the green the green section lost puzzle was I it definitely took me a while to do, but I felt so smart when I did it. Like 
I, I I ended up struggling for a bit, so I like ended one stream and then started the next one with that puzzle and managed to figure it out then. It was it was a sleep on it kind of puzzle for me. But I felt so smart when I figured it out. And I was also like, I should have figured this out sooner because I had all of the mechanics. I was just placing things in the wrong order. <laughs> but I really love those kind of laser puzzles. I love figuring out laser patterns and orders and swapping things around. I really love those style of ones. They feel really rewarding to solve, I think. They're, they're the ones where like, when I'm done with them, I'm like, I did, I did a good job. I did good. You know what? I think I may have to turn some of the graphics settings down. It's, I'm, I'm getting a little stuttery. Just a little bit. Let's see if I can just, just like trees. I guess view distance. Let's just make it near. We can't, we can't look into the distance anymore. But I think it should be fine. Hmm. Yeah, this should this should be fine. This should be okay. <laughs> it's the problem when there's so many leaves. There's just so much. But we're good. All right. So, oh wait, eight is back that way. Oh yeah, eight is like right back around. Eight. But we're going to go around in a little loop. To get to eight so that's interesting oh it's like a little pond in the middle too i kind of want to go check that out now i want to see the pond hey oh it's a really nice little pond eight eight oh it reminds this this reminds me so much of the the very first area this, like, the pond and the, the architecture here. I love this. What a nice pond. Oh, come on in! Come on in, the door's open. The, the water's lovely. It actually is lovely. Look how clear this water is. Even after turning all of the graphics down, this game is still gorgeous. I love it. I love it so much. Right, well, anyway, I want to do puzzle number five. So that one is eight. So I'm going here and, oh no, wait, hold on. I was gonna try and cut through, but I think it may be slightly up. Oh, hey! It's the Sprite. It's the Prometheus Sprite. Do I feel like that adventure yet? I don't think I do. I think I'm leaving the adventure, but I will remember that it's behind four. <laughs> that the sprite is behind puzzle four. I'm going to have to jump down a ledge to get to it. Things to remember. And I'm pretty sure I looked at this. Yeah, I, I looked at this because I, I got very excited when I walked away from the puzzle at the end of the stream. <laughs> the door knock is so realistic. It is, isn't it? It's I, The fact that it has the directional audio, the first time I heard it, I actually like turned my head and then it's like it got to the point where I, I added it to my stream setup but my door is on my left hand side so what I did was I actually edited the sound so that the left door knock would happen first so I'd be more likely to get caught out by it but it's gone to the point now where I've gotten so used to it myself that I kind of just ignore it now so if, if someone actually knocked on my door I would I would simply ignore them I would be like ah there's no one actually there, surely. Okay, so I think the sprite is going to be jump down from five. Where is it? It's going to be jump down from five. I want to, like, scout out where it is. There, yes, it's jumping down from five. I will remember that. I'm actually making a mental note to remember where it is. <laughs> so I don't forget. Oh, I saw I was playing a visual novel thing this week too. Have I played many? I love visual novels. 
I love them so much. I'm a, I'm a big visual novel fan. I I try and play as many of them as I can. It, it turns into just like story time and also me getting distracted and talking about unrelated topics for half an hour. But it's really fun. I, I really love visual novels. I've, I've loved them for years. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've played quite a few. Not as many recently as I used to. It's a, be, Being an adult is suffering, <laughs> but I love them. Also, you! Hello! Have I played the Mist Riven remakes yet? I've never actually played Riven, full stop. I've never played it. I played Mist a million years ago, and I don't remember anything about it, and I never played Riven. So that those games are on my list. They are on my list of um, I'm playing these at some point. I just... Um, I was actually going to play them quite soon and then the DLC for this came out and I was like, uh, sorry, uh, this this takes priority. <laughs> it's like, oh, Talos 2 comes out? Let me clear my schedule. This, it just instant priority. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to play them though. I, they, they seem like my kind of games. Oh my goodness. The perpendicular problem. Oh my days. I am so bad at the walk on walls gravity shifting things these these are the ones i get the most confused by so this is going to be so interesting right let's see what we're working with whoop whoop i got a blue laser i will simply connect blue to blue for now This gate's open so I can get a cube now. Ah. Uh, oh, your favorite is the house in Fata Morgana? I still haven't played that. I have it. And I really want to play it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But that's 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 a game I really, really want to play. It looks amazing. And oh you've you've played Kern and it wasn't for you. I I, I haven't played that either. <laughs> but I've always heard amazing things about Mist and Riven. And I remember really enjoying Mist when I played it um, a gazillion years ago. When, like, back... I have, I have a terrible memory. It's going to be like I've never played it. But I remembered really enjoying it when I played it then, so... I am excited to play that. Oh, what's going on up here? Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to walk for a little bit. What is happening here? Okay, there's another... Another gate here, but I don't know what is blocking that. I don't know what's making this gate. Oh, there's a drill drill wall section though, so it's probably gonna be a way to drill through there to get stuff on these pressure plates. Okay, let's, let's walk back down. Whoop. What's further up here? Uh, not much of anything to be found. Hmm. Oh, there's more there as well. There's a... Ooh, ooh, okay. Right, I've not seen a drill yet. Is there a drill? I wonder if I can get up onto these ledges. Oh wait, I can I can start by doing this. That opened that up there. What is up there? Oh, red! There's a red connector thingy. Is there a red laser? There is a- oh! There's the drill. There's the drill, I see. Can I- yes, I can reach that. Here's the drill. I get so disoriented. <laughs> okay, so if I do, I do this like this. Then I want to get this cube. I want to put this cube on that plate. On this pressure pad. Okay, that opens that door then. So I can pick up the drill and we can use the drill to open this button and also make a hole so I can get the cube back. So that, did 
Did that open here? Yes, that opened this for the red laser. So now that I've done that, we don't need that door open anymore so I can take the cube away. Boom. So that door will shut, but I don't need to go back in there, I hope. I'm going to find another drillable wall in a second and cry. But it'll be fine. He... Uh, definitely in the same genre as Mist. Vaguely remember not liking Kern, though. I've, I've never played it. I... I honestly, like, a lot of games, I don't know how a lot of them play because I, I purposely go into games knowing as little as possible as I can about them. I, I will just... If I see a game that looks like something I would enjoy, I'm going to be like, right, I'm going to look up nothing about this anymore. Right, now I need to find a spot where I can connect this laser up here to that. Oh, I can just do that by standing on the ceiling. I can do that. Oh no, but this isn't open now. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. I need the blue. Oh, oh, I can, oh, hold on. Oh, I was like, if I can set this up so that it connects a little wobbly, like here, then I can pull it out again, but I just realized I can't because the, the pressure plate needs to be down for me to get into that room. So, uh, not quite. Hmm. Oh, I don't actually need that open, do I? I don't actually need that open. Oh, no, I do. There's, there's gates on both both sides of it. Never mind. Yeah, I do need this open if I want access to this red laser, which I need. Oh, it's so... I get so disoriented. Yeah, this doesn't work. It's so... I need, I need to set up the red laser, but I can't do that. Like this. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, maybe? Maybe, if I can get angles right. Will that, hold on. I need to see what this does. Is it a wide angle? No, that's too wide. No, it's too high up like this. Like, there's a way I can connect the laser, like, underneath through the gap. I don't think there is. I need this on the other side to connect the red, I think. That is the problem. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, actually- oh, wait, hold on, actually... I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm closing this off again so I can't connect to the red yet. But I'm borrowing cube for a second. I've had an idea. I've had an idea. If I can set this up with the blue laser and then reconnect the blue laser from that side and keep the, the pressure plate down. Like if I do this, then like I go in here. That's not gonna work anymore, but I, I do this. No, no, I keep it like this. And then if I take this and put it on here, it... No, it doesn't connect still. It might on here. If I connect this here... It would have if I kept it open. Okay. Okay, so now I do... Oh, goodness. That through there, that is open. The problem is it won't stay open as I take the connector away. 
I can't pick that connector up from here then. Hmm. No, no, this this can work. This can work. Yes, wait. Yeah, I, I just put this back now. This can work. This can work. This can work. I can make this work. Yes. I think I got this. Because now I can pick it up from this side. And I need to connect it to the red. Which I can do by going red and red. Find the right angle to connect this at. And then I can just move the drill to open that gate. Put it here. Oh, I shut myself in if I do that, though. Hmm. Okay, I almost had it. Now, you know what? It's okay. I think I've got the right components. I just need to do it in the right order. I think I, need, I do need to keep the cube up here until I'm out. I think that's the main the main problem here at the moment. I need I need the cube up here until I'm out and free and I've set up all of the red and then I can open this gate. Like I'll connect it to here with the gate shut. If it'll let me, it might not let me. Hmm. Much to think about. Let's try. Now I do that. that it won't work because the gate's shut but oh wait hold on can i do that i put that on there i jump down to here yeah yeah cube yes i got it i got it yes Open. Connected. Open. I did it! <laughs> oh, I'm the first streamer you've watched with a VTuber avatar. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I'm glad I can be your introduction to VTubing. It's really nice. I really like being a VTuber because it, it means I, I can be who I really am, which is a pink-haired cat girl from the UK who loves puzzles. And it's, it's a lot of fun because I get to do a lot of, like, fun customization stuff with it too like I've got my little my little necklace on you can throw things at me you can squash me down into a chibi if you want there's so many little like fun aspects to it but I did it oh right as a raid happens oh my goodness hi hi no nice to see you welcome 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 on in raiders wait you joined at a great time I just finished a puzzle and I'm just about to smack the button to prove that I'm a genius. <laughs> so that was a really nice time to raid. I get to actually look smart. But hello, raiders. I hope you had a good Skyrim time. I hope you had fun playing Skyrim. I've, I've still never actually played Skyrim. Little confession from me. I have watched so many other people play Skyrim. I've never actually played it myself. I've played Oblivion. <laughs> I've played the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, but I've never played Skyrim. <laughs> but I hope you had a fun stream. And a welcome in raiders to anyone who's new here. Hello, I'm Liri. I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And today is big puzzle time on fancy tropical puzzle island. Uh, I'm playing the DLC for the Towers Principle 2, which is one of my favorite puzzle games. Another one of my favorite puzzle games is the Talos Principle 1. <laughs> They're really, really good games. I love them so much. But oh, I, I hope you had a good stream, though. Welcome on in, everybody. And thank you for wasting points as well, 1010. Wait, how do you have 10,000? <gasps> thank you. Thank you for feeding the abyss. The offering has been accepted. We are safe for now. But I hope you had a lot of fun. Thank you for bringing the raid this way. The, ab the abyss is fed. We're safe. We're fine. Although I'm pretty sure the third DLC, uh, uh, 
package part, like DLC 3. I'm pretty sure it's called The Abyss or something like that. So uh, I may be entering The Abyss later in the stream, depending on how quickly I do these puzzles. We'll see. But uh, thank you for bringing the raid this way. If you have to head off after your stream and go get some rest, get some food or drink, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you do want to stick around, I'm very smart. Sometimes. <laughs> Puzzle five. Oh, I forgot to check the photo that Melville took as well. <gasps> I forgot. I forgot. This isn't right. This isn't right. Why is this photo in focus? What is happening? Melville didn't take this, right? Oh, I don't want her to learn how to take photos properly. No, I, I want the, the blurry abominations. I'm so sad. It's so in focus. Oh, wait, you're right. Al is blinking. You're right. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Suddenly I'm fine with this photo now. It's okay. We're good now. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love how I was like, no, this photo's too good. And then, yeah, never mind. It's perfect. I love it. Thank you, Melville. They may be idiots, but they're our idiots. So true. I am also idiot. I love it. <laughs> but yes, I, I I love the moments in this game where I walk into a puzzle, solve it, and feel like a genius. But oh, I'm I'm so glad. I'm so glad. It's also this one K. They're back. I just like hearing them talk. Here we go. <clears throat> Observe Byron and Alcatraz in their natural habitat. A complex discussion of philosophical ideas in which they completely disagree and yet somehow manage to be pleasant about it. In this instance, they have drawn in the elusive creature known as the Barzai and are arguing with him about the nature of the sublime. I think he's either terrified or having the time of his life. I think a, a mixture of both, to be honest. He probably loves it and is also terrified at the same time. But oh, it's so good seeing Al and Byron back together disagreeing about everything. It's how it should be. <laughs> the balance is restored. Wait, your stream's low res and you thought... <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with it? It is all blurry. <laughs> That's so funny. I love the little buffering moments. Oh, there's also a new social media post as well. <gasps> Multiplicity. 1,121, oh my goodness. Greetings, friends and fellow citizens. I would like to inquire as to the possibility of existing as a single consciousness, a single consciousness in multiple bodies simultaneously. I would very much like to exist in this fashion, but I am not certain whether it is feasible. Uh, Linux says, in theory, it is possible, but if you want to be one continuous consciousness, there are some strict technical, limica uh, technical limitations, largely involving distance and the speed at which information can travel. Hard limits are hard limits. There's more to it than that. You would also need a very different sort of mind than what we have, capable of dealing with all this input and output in parallel, which is certainly feasible, but should be done carefully. Finally, an application of all this new technology that will actually expand someone's mind. But tell me, what made you come up with this idea? Thank you, Nathan Linux. That sounds encouraging. As to your question, dear Helga, I don't think it is something I can answer in entirely rational terms. Let me simply say that I am in love with the world and wish to see more of its beauty. I'll just visit every beautiful place at the same time and get overwhelmed by the sights and sounds and smells and break down. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a great idea to me. Anyway, puzzle five complete. Where is six? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Six is this way. I think I just clipped through a butterfly. I just saw a flash of blue. I think I may have clipped through a butterfly. I hope the butterfly's okay. I probably don't want to fall down here. Oh, 
I don't think I want to fall down there. Anyway, puzzle six. I'm guessing I follow the path. I'm guessing this is six, so I'm going to have a look around first. Ooh. Oh, it's... I, I was wondering what that sound was. It's, it's the bridge up there. At least I presume it's the bridge up there. That was surprisingly... Surprisingly loud. No, 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 I'm larger. The butterfly clipped through me. Wait, you're so right. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm the, the dominant figure in this situation. Uh, does my avatar just track my head movements? Yeah, it's just uh, head movements because that's the way it's rigged. Uh, some people do have like full body tracking and stuff. I don't have anything like that set up. I, I would love to some point. At some point in the future, I, I would love to have like a 3D model and have like full tracking. But at the moment, it's it's just just me here, just just my face. Although I can get my automaton out. <laughs> I can show my hands this way when I get my automaton out. So there are like little options, but it's it's really cool. I I, I love VTubing. A lot always depends on like the model you get, how much you pay for like tracking, how much work is put into it. Like they, there, there are like the most basic VTubers who are just like PNG VTubers, who just have like images that like change from open mouth to closed mouth and stuff like that. And then you can go as far as like the full 3D, full body tracking VR, connected in every way bodysuit mocap, and then everything like in between too. It's it's such a varied, varied world. There's so many different types of VTubers, and that's what makes it so fun. I love it. But yes, I am actually in the progress of re-rigging my current model. So it'll be the same art, but the movement will be smoother. And I will have like more flexibility and freedom of movement. But that's not done yet, because it's a lot of work and I'm doing it by myself. <laughs> Which I, I very much regret, to be completely honest. I probably should have... I, I should just hire somebody else to do it, but... I'm stubborn, and now that I've started it, I want to um, keep going. But, uh, uh, so you need a bodysuit for full tracking. Uh, you can do it with just like, um, like wrist straps and stuff, like, like a few markers. Like there's systems set up where you just have like, some things on your arms, some on your legs, and it like fills in the gaps in between. You don't need the full bodysuit for that. But uh, yes, I've just got a uh, camera tracking at the moment. I actually use an iPhone. <laughs> it's an uh, iPhone uh, face face ID stuff. And it's also hilarious because I don't actually use an iPhone as my phone. I have a Samsung. <laughs> so I have an iPhone which lives on my desk purely to track my face. But it's really good. It's It, it works really well. It worked better than the webcam. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get a cheap iPhone. I'll get a second-hand one that has a really bad battery life and just keep it plugged in. But yeah, this one is the Celestial Beacon. This is going to be a very high up beam, I'm guessing. Oh, hey, there's a little connectory thing there. Okay. All right, so if I do that and that, that's going to go red. You can also open that with it. All right, I made this red. I don't know if this needs to be red. Oh, I need the jammer. Oh. Oh, oh, but now that this is up here and connected red, I can bring this back. And maybe. Oh, if I just get everything I need through here. Oh, how do I keep this open? Oh, hold on. Yeah, I need to bring the jammer through. Do I need this? I don't think I need this. I think what I do is I get the cube. I'll set the jammer up on here. Hopefully it will still jam like that. And go through. And then I think I can just pick it up. That? Oh no, that, oh, that blocks the red. Ah, 
Uh, yeah, that blocked the red, but I I can bring the cube through now. And can I get higher? Yeah, I can just connect it like here. Connect it over here instead. I've got the jammer on this side. I'll do it. Yeah, there we go. And it's still connected because I've I've raised it up over the bar. Very only just that I did it. And I can do that. Yeah. Boom. Oh, I need... Okay, never mind. Oh, it needs more red. Oh, no, I do need the other connector then. Hmm. Oh. I don't have any more items, though. Like, if I take this, it's going to be too low down. It's going to disconnect from the blue laser. Okay, I I was so confident. <laughs> right. Hmm. All right, I'm glad they have at least included a ladder for me. So, like, if I accidentally shut myself out, it's not a problem. I can just ladder over. But uh, if I do that, yeah, that's... Hmm... Let me grab this anyway. Hmm. No, I'm gonna bring the jammer back. I'm gonna set this up again so it'll go over there. I'm bringing the jammer back. Because I need to get a red down here, but I, I will need the jammer for the end, I'm pretty sure. I need to connect the the red as well. Oh, so to do that, I'm gonna have to have this. Oh no, that that the, the high up one's inside of it. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something. Jam this for now. Yeah, I am going to need the jammer for that. However, I can connect this in here. But it's like I don't have the cube to lift it up. Ha! Ah. I need to think about this a different way. It's not working like this, but... So clearly the idea is to connect this to open that door and then use the jammer at the end. So how can I get this beam to the red without needing the cube? That is my question. Hum. Okay. Okay. I see what I have to do. I see it. I see it. How do I get everything back out where I need it? Okay. Jammer. Yes. That's how I do it. Boom. Up there. And then... Okay. It won't, it won't connect to the the door to keep that open but I can connect it up to there just out here and so then even when that's shut I don't have to worry so with that I can then no. 
I will temporarily do this. Yes. So that is open. I can bring the jammer through. I'll jam it from this side so I can bring this through further again. I've got it. I've got it. Yes. Boom. And I do this. I do this. I can connect it to the red. I bring the jammer through. I've done it. Yes. Oh, that was cool. There we go. <laughs> and six is down. Why was six scared? Don't worry about seven. Everything's fine. But uh, oh, thank you for the hydrate as well. Let me have a sip of my monster. Oh, I think, did I miss a hydrate earlier as well? I don't remember if I did or not. I'm just gonna have more anyway. I think I did hydrate. I d I'm just gonna drink more anyway, cause I like this. I got my mango monster. But I, I love that one. That was a really fun one to figure out. That was great. Yeah. What flavor monster am I drinking? I'm drinking the uh, the one that's, uh, it's, it's above my head on the screen. It's the, uh, Monster Energy Ultra Fiesta, which is the mango flavored one. And I love this one. It's one of my favorites. One of my top three. My top three monster flavors are Ultra Fiesta, mango, uh, Ultra Peachy Keen, the peach one, and Ultra Rosa, which I still have not quite nailed down what the taste is of that. But it's nice. The taste of it is nice. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag please sponsor me, monster, please. Please. Please sponsor streamers, monster. Please sponsor more than just motocross racing. Please. I don't want to learn how to be a motocross racer to be sponsored by monster. But I will if I have to. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love monster. I'm a big fan. <laughs> be simp for monster more than Death Stranding. Did you, did you know they actually removed all of the monster references from Death Stranding? For like the the whatever it is the newest edition i think they like the licensing ran out or something they actually replaced it with like a generic energy drink thing i was devastated when i found out <laughs> i was like no but but the monster the monster tm we need it oh my goodness bloom hello hello welcome on in oh thank you so much for raiding me again welcome welcome Come on in, Raiders. I was just talking about how much I love Monster Energy Drink and how I am not sponsored. And how Death Stranding removed Monster Energy references. But welcome in! I hope you had fun with Undertale Yellow. I hope you're having a good time with it. I I feel like I've, I want to check that out at some point. I, It's been a while since I played Undertale. Honestly, I still need to play Deltarune. I still haven't finished Deltarune. <laughs> but it's such a good game. But uh, I hope you're having fun with it. Oh yes, it's very fun. I am glad to see it. I'm I'm glad you had a good time. But thank you for bringing the raid this way. Welcome on in. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK. And uh, the screen is not always this purple. I'm just in front of a gate. <laughs> the misalignment syndrome. This sounds fun. But uh, I am I love comfy games and puzzle games, and I'm currently playing a really cool puzzle game called The Talos Principle 2. I'm actually playing the DLC for it that only came out a, a few weeks ago, and I love it so much. It's so good. It's such a good game. I love puzzles. I love puzzles so much. I love puzzles. I love lasers. I love cubes. I love watching tiny little crabs run across the beach, and this DLC has all of that. <laughs> But yes, come on in. Welcome, welcome. Come and take a seat if you want to. Uh, but also, if you're tired after your stream and you have to head off, please don't feel like you have to stick around. If you want to go get some rest or get some food or drink. But if you do want to stick around, I'm, I'm having a great time with puzzles at the moment. Okay, I've got a drill. Drill. Don't know what this button does. We will find out. Okay, this button, oh, activates this fan. Okay, oh. Okay, there's green in there. Oh, and a drill spot. There is a drill wall there. 
drill wall there. I feel like I don't need this drill wall at the moment. I should go around here and try and figure out what I'm doing with this green. Yeah, there's so much stuff in here. I need to get in here. Figure out a way to get in this room. But yes, oh, probably luck now. That is completely fine. I hope you have a lovely luck, but thank you so much for the raid. Oh, you're still delaying starting DLC 3 because you have Hades Addiction. Oh, that's that's fair. That is very fair. <laughs> Hades is another game that I've I've not played myself, but I've I've been watching so many people play it. When Hades 2 came out, I I was just I, I watched so many people playing it. Oh hey! Oh I can't get this out of here. Oh I know what I gotta do. Right, so I can do that. And then if I can get another item in here, I can swap it with the connector. Somehow. But, uh, can I take the fan off? Oh, I can! Right! We don't need that fan at the moment. Let's... Boom. Okay, so taking that off the plate will close the gate, but the fan will put it open again. The connector is out. I have freed the connector. And now with a connector, we can connect these greens. <laughs> uh, hopefully. And once I've connected the greens, I can just get all of the items in here out. So, laser to connector. Oh. And the door's open! Yeah! Ah, uh, you love Hades, but you're making yourself wait for the full release. Oh, yeah, that that's fair as well. I think, like, if I was planning on playing Hades 2, I would also be in the same boat. I would be avoiding everything I can to avoid spoilers. But as it is, uh, I don't plan on playing it, so I'm just... I just, like, live vicariously through everyone else. Right, now we've got everything out of there. Boop. Nice! Right, I am going to need the fan back, I think. And I, I need... I need to drill a hole there so we can get the, the green laser through. But I think from here... Yeah, we only need one drill. Let's use the other drill. Use the other drill to replace this fan, get the fan back. I don't know if I need to or not, because why not? Because now I'm thinking, what I do is, if I do that... And then... Where did I put the fan? Right here. If I now set up the fan, set up the cube, set up the connector to the green and that... So when the fan is activated, that will be high enough to open the door. Oh, maybe I do need that drill. Because I need to have something to put on here, but I can't... Hmm. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do that. And I need to figure out a way that I can... set up the drill... there. But I'm gonna have to figure out the angle here. Oh, uh, you think I might be better than you at solving puzzles? Because if you were solving while interacting with chat, you'd be going so much slower. I, I feel like it, it's definitely hard sometimes. I'm, I'm better sometimes than I am other times. Occasionally, I have very like empty brain moments because I'm too busy chatting. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I definitely need to figure out. Take this off here. 
then that closes up. I can't bring this through. Because ideally, if there's a way I could bring this through, free this drill as well, I would be home free. Or if I just had one more item I could use. Oh, that's actually... Yeah, no, that's, that's the exact spot it needs to be at. So, like, if I did this and then I stand on the button, it matches up, it opens the door. But I can't go through the door. Because I gotta step off it. So that is the problem here, and there's a gate in the way. So, hmm... The fact that there's two drill walls here is... It wants me to do something with these drills. I just haven't figured it out yet. If I use this and drill... the top... In here, we still have the hole. Oh, I wonder... If I borrow the cube, if I take the cube through... No, if I take the cube through, I'm going to shut the cube in there. I'm not going to be able to get the cube out. So that doesn't quite work. Also, Weird Girl 212 thank you for the follow as well. Thank you for stopping in. Sorry, I'm, I'm so absorbed talking about drills and cubes at the moment. That was a bit late. But thank you for following. Puzzles, I love them. I forgot to add that to the title. Thank you for reminding me of my, my very serious command. Thank you, let me... Let me update the stream title. There we go. <laughs> the stream title is now as it should be. Everyone's got to remember the, the very important command of exclamation point puzzles, which shares very important news and information. Oh, it's because of this button. Because mm. that button is what is powering this door to get things through. I can't get it through. I'm, I'm stood on the button. Hmm. Is there a way I can drill through? Wait, oh, hold on. Oh, wait, no, I can reach it from the back here. If I put it, like, at the very back of the room, I can reach. Oh, there it is. There it is. I did it! Yes! Ah! I was so close that whole time. I just had to back up a bit. Puzzle 7! Oh, I love the music in this game. And it's, it is. It's so pretty, isn't it? Like, the game you're seeing at the moment, too, is me with all of the graphic settings turned down. They're all on, like, medium or low at the moment. Like, this isn't even as pretty as it gets. It's just that when I when I turn them up even more, I the stream gets a bit laggy, and I turn into a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> but even on low graphics, it still manages to be so gorgeous. And I love it. I love it so much. Also, I just thought too, I don't think I actually said hi to you, Primal Zed. Hello. I'm so sorry if I didn't. But hi. If I miss saying hi to anybody, please just say hello and I will I will greet you properly now that I'm not thinking about puzzles for the next like 20 seconds while I'm not thinking about puzzles. Yeah, now we can do eight. Oh, this is what leads up to the, the hexahedron. Haha. <laughs> I like that I can go through the rocks. Eight. It's time for eight. Oh, and I... No, no, never mind. Before we do eight, we're going to continue on in the other direction. Because I have a treasure map. And I found a cassette tape. And we are going to go listen to it. Okay, that's where I need to lead the sprite to. Oh, maybe I should do that. Let's let's do the sprite. Let's do the sprite thing. Let's leave the sprite along to there because that will leave us in the right area. To then... Do we do do? To then listen to the tape. Right, so it's... 
This is five? Is this five? No, five is this one? It's like around here somewhere. Around here? There it is. I see you. Here we go. <laughs> I teased you with crab time again. I'm I'm gonna like do the whole stream and then just be like, right, catch me next time to see what's on this cassette. <laughs> Oh, wait, no more emojis falling on head. Is it not working? Hold on, it should be working. If it's not working, I can try and fix it, because it should be. There's no reason why it shouldn't be working. Hold on, let me just try. Oh, it is working. Oh, okay. Uh, sometimes they bounce off my head and immediately bounce off the screen. So if that's the case, that might have happened. But I was going to say, I I'm pretty sure I turned them all on. But they should. They should fall on my head. Uh, oh, no, the emojis aren't falling, though. I I, I broke that. <laughs> I broke the emojis on screen, and I haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. So it's just, it's just like, the emojis won't drop on my head, but if you type the word Tetris, it'll drop a tetromino on my head. And if you type cube, it'll drop a cube on my head. If you type Xander, it will drop my brother's head on my head. What else is there? If you say gay, it'll drop a pride heart. <laughs> I think those are the only droppable ones. Oh no, roll as well. Roll or d20 will drop a d20 on my head. <laughs> there, did you see him? I love him. Look at that. The gay Tetris cube, what we all aspire to. Anyway, who's ready to go on a little sprite adventure? I hope I don't lose this one. If I do lose this sprite, I promise not to badmouth it like I did the one last week. Okay, where are you going? Where are we going? We're going up? We're going up? We're going down? We go this way? Going on a little adventure. Go along this way. Where are you going? Where are you going, little sprite friend? You going up? You going down? Doing a wiggle? Right over here? This is very nice and straightforward. What's the catch? Okay, there's no catch. It's just a really kind sprite. Oh my goodness. You just came here. We just... We, we just had a really nice little journey. What? I was expecting to have to go stand on the ceilings and stuff. What a nice sprite. What a lovely sprite. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> Hold on, I actually have a can of sprite back here. Hold on. I have a can of sprite. Here we go. Yeah, we get two cans opened in one stream. Hee hee. But yes, yes, I am indeed part of the LGBT community. I'm gay. And it always really amuses me when people are like, wait, I had no idea you were gay. And I, I talk, I, I feel like I just talk about how much I love women a lot. It always amuses me. <laughs> There was actually a friend of mine who was like, this is really embarrassing. I don't even know if I should be confessing this to you, but I thought Xander was your husband. Which I thought was like the funniest thing because he, he's my little brother. <laughs> but I, I stream with my brother Xander every Friday and she was just like, you, you just like, you bounce so easily off each other. You, you get along so well. I just presumed you were married. I didn't even think like boyfriend or anything. I just went straight to marriage. <laughs> And I thought that was hilarious. It was so hilarious, but also, no. Most definitely not in any way. <laughs> but yeah, well, most people always... People always assume that he's the older brother as well. Everyone always thinks that Xander is my older brother when they hear that we're siblings. But I'm the older one. I'm the older sibling. I'm just... I just have a baby face and pink hair, and he has a full beard and is over six feet tall. So it's like... <laughs> so it's like, I understand. I understand why people would presume that. But also, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm the... I was going to say, I'm the grown-up one. We're both grown-up. <laughs> both, both not grown-up. Are we grown-up? I'm, I'm, I'm old. I don't, I don't want to grow up yet. 
But yeah. Oh yeah, well it's family Friday, so definitely not boyfriend. Oh, that's true. That's true. If I was married to somebody, we would... It would be family and we'd have the same surname. That does make sense. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> He's my Luigi. <laughs> Wait. That means I'm Mario. Yeah, that's right. I'm the protagonist. I'm, I'm gonna go find the princess. But my princess is always in another castle. It's fine. Anyway, let's see what Yakut has to say. What are your words of wisdom, Yakut? When you care for what is outside, what is inside cares for you. You're so right. You are so right with that. Thank you. Right, anyway, who wants to actually listen to this tape? Who wants to listen to the tape? Who wants to listen to the tape? If I can remember where the tape player is. Here it is! Look, there's a, there's a cassette player here. I have the cassette. What if we go explore? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We'll, we'll listen to it. <laughs> okay. This is the best Easter egg I've ever seen. <laughs> I love royalty-free crab rave. Oh, yes. Look at that. There's so many of them. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. That's so good. I will admit, I had a moment of panic then where I was like, is, is this going to be actually Crab Rave? Am I going to get DMCA'd? But it's not. We're fine. We're fine. It is uh, Crab Disco. Oh, baby crab! <laughs> They've got little shades on. Oh, got little shades on. Oh, look at you. Come on, look at the wiggles. Look at those wiggles. Oh, yeah, you got the moves. Look at them. So good! Oh, look at him! Oh my, I mean, this is all I've ever wanted in my life. I didn't realize it until this moment. I didn't realize until now, but that, that was all I've ever wanted. My soul feels so nourished right now. That, that was incredible. Can I do it again? Oh, I don't think I can do it again. Oh, I want to just keep taking the tape out and putting it back in. Oh, that's so good. That was so worth it. That was so worth that entire treasure hunt. I'm... I'm so happy. I'm so happy I love these crabs. I've got to say, I still love that, like, when I when I first entered this DLC area, one of the first things I did was run to the beach and stare at a crab. <laughs> it is so cute. Right, where's eight? Back this way for eight. Oh my, no, I'm like back up here now. Oh yeah, eight's down, down here. Ow. I'm fine. This way. Oh, uh, I can do it again, but I have to repeat the whole process. Oh, well, that, I'm fine with that. Hey, let's go back and get the key again. <laughs> oh wait, you changed my outfit. We got the outfit toggle, thank you. Hold on, I need to adjust my tetromino. So it matches this outfit better. Okay, that's that's huge, but it's fine. <laughs> Let's put it like that. There, that looks cool. That looks cool. But uh, thank you for the outfit change. It's magical girl time. I've got my cloak on. I'm ready to run around and be a genius, question mark. Okay, yeah, this was the Sphinx with the, hold on. Yeah, this, I haven't seen anything that looks like it would be like this kind of pattern yet. I don't think. I'll have to look for that. I'll look for that after I've done number eight. After I've done puzzle eight, I'll have a little look around. Did I listen to this? Yeah. 
I'll have a little look-see and see if I can find anything that looks like it might be the Sphinx thing. Because I saw some bits, like some towery things that looked a little suspicious, but I didn't look into it too much. Is this eight? No, that's two. I think I went straight past eight, didn't I? Here it is, I think. Is this eight? I've, I've approached it from the wrong side. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I found it. I found it. Honestly, the, the biggest puzzle eight. is trying to find where the puzzles are. <laughs> eight. Truly, the biggest puzzle for me is navigation. <laughs> As anyone knows. But hi, Lynn, welcome. How's it going? It's going so well. I love this game. I love it so much. It's such a good game. I, I have such a blast playing this. And we had crabs, so I'm happy. Oh, sorry, what was this? Uh, blah, blah, blah. The Riddle of the Citadel. Hmm. Okay, so where is this connected to? Okay. All I have to do is connect that blue connector there. That's easy, right? <laughs> right. Oh, goodness. Okay, so blue laser in there. Red laser here. Red door. I can go through here. Oh, fan. Oh, there's, oh, there's stuff up there. Okay, I'm going. Whee. Ha ha. Hold on, it can't be this easy. No, it's not this easy. I wonder if it'll let me actually place it here. I feel like it's just gonna like glitch and fall off. But it would be hilarious. Yeah, it just fell off, okay. Oopsie. Oh, it slipped down the little gap here. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I had to try it. I had to try and be cheeky. But uh, we can do that to open this at least. Bada bing. Oh, you dread the hexahedron? I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited for it. I want to get inside there. Like, look at it. Look at that. It's. I feel like it's going to be really trippy. And I'm going to get super disoriented. But I'm okay with that. All right. Do we need this open anymore? I don't think we need this open anymore. Something like through there. No, I don't think there is. Okay, and then what was through here? Yeah, this is the fan, so I can't take items on the fan with me. So I hope by falling off with the thing, I haven't messed things up for myself. But if I have, then oopsie, I know the reset button. It's okay. No, I don't think I would, because I needed this down here anyway. Right, but we got a blue up there, so if I use the red laser... I can make the blue, and then... I put this there? Oh, that lowers it! Oh, no, yeah, I'm fine then. Hmm. Okay. Okay, hmm. So how can I use this to my advantage? To get this round here. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Oh, I need this. Oh. If I do this, I can connect to here with this laser, maybe? Oh no, not from these angles. Hmm. Because just getting this up there would be helpful. Even with the little barriers at the sides, just having it up 
would do a lot. I'd be able to angle this better if we had a, a source of the laser up there. So I, I need to figure out a way to get this on here before it boops up again. Hmm. Unless I get this up there before it boops up again. I think I made a big old mess of this one. Uh, it's okay if I fall off the hexahedron because I'm a cat. Exactly, I'll land on my feet. I can already guarantee I'm going to fall out of there multiple times. I Like, that. that's just a given. That is just going to happen. <laughs> hmm... I, oh, wait, the stuff. Oh, I missed this. Oh, hold on, hold on. Cube. 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 Hmm. Harder than planned. So I need red. So, like, that gets red? Then I can't see it from the angle I need it at. Oh no, I only need it for a second. I can set this up. If I set this up in a way that it angles enough, and then I stand on here, just long enough for it to activate and boop the cube off. That's all I need. Yes. Ha ha. I love cube. I love cube. Right, and that, that'll give this the boost it needs to be higher up, up here. However. I've got to figure out how first. Hmm. Much to think about. But yes, thank you for cubes. Cube is love, cube is life. I love cubes. Even when they're not cubes, even when they're hexahedrons instead, I still love cubes. I love cubes. do that no it's gonna have to be way closer to this if I want to try this like getting over there no that's that's I don't think I'm gonna get that over like right next to it I don't think that'll reach the blue up there then though if I do that nope Oh, maybe. No, that might reach, actually, if I place this right, right here. Like that. Oh, no, not quite. Now I, I got the wall in the way. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it just clips. It just clips. There? No, it clips that way. I feel like they're... This probably isn't the right way, but I this, I, I think it I think it works. I do it like no. Oh, do I just do it here? Wait, I'm I may be I may be silly. No, it it's not quite high enough like that. It does need to be a slight bit further back to get the height enough. I do it on this side. I do it on this side. Yeah! There we go! Yeah, the devs did a good job this time. I, I can't cheese it this time like I usually do. Oh, but it, it breaks as it starts going down. But that's okay, because I can use this. I, 
not use this. Oh. Second too long to actually like connect connect. Uh oh. No, not quite. Never mind. <laughs> Rare testing W. Okay. Well, I can I can stand on it like this, but it doesn't really help with the everything else. Hmm. Because I still need to actually get parts up there. That's the problem. And as soon as I do this, it's going to. Wait, why am I even using the cube here? <laughs> I may be silly. Alright, I don't think I actually like I I need I don't know how I'm gonna get this on here. In a way that doesn't break the beam. Which is why I was like, it would be so ideal if I could figure out a way to do it with just this and the cube, and then I could at least get a connector up there. Because once I've got a connector, it's easier to directly connect that up there. Hmm. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have a sip of my monster, I'm stepping out, and I'm gonna step back in with a fresh mind. <laughs> oh, I could check the, the lost puzzle as well. I have not dipped my toe in there yet, but I, I think I'm just like trying to do the same things over and over, and I can tell when I start doing that, that's when I start making mistakes. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, I don't actually know where it is. So I know eight's that way. I know the gate's that way. Another information board would be very handy. I wonder if there might be one if I walk all the way over here. I haven't actually walked up to the hexahedron yet. So big, I'm gonna fall out of here. I am 100% falling out of this thing. There's no way I'm not falling out of that at some point. Oh, he's so big. Oh, I wonder if this could be connected to the Sphinx somehow. Because they're like square columns. No, they're like diagonal. I don't... I, never mind. No, I, I, as soon as I said it, I'm like, no, I, actually, I don't think so. It'd be very funny if they are now, but I don't think so. Hello. Good dancer. Good dancing, thank you. Hmm. Oh, wait, rocks? Branch? I'm, I'm just very lost right now. I'm, I'm just going on a little stroll. I'm going to enjoy my holiday. Have a little wander. 
You know what? It's not the board I was looking for, but I found a board. <laughs> All the way back here. Right. Yeah, I've, I've only found this one teleport so far over this side. Because I got... Oh, yeah, I only had one for that area, too, until I reached the lighthouse. Oh, no, it's the same with all of them. Never mind. It's the same with them all. It's fine. But the, the Lost Puzzle's, like, right back there. It's, like, further around from where the... where the cabs were. So... Oh, I'm getting turned around already. So I think we go back there. Because I want to check that out. And then I'll return to that one afterwards and hopefully not keep doing the same things over and over. <laughs> oh, Talos and getting over it collab. I would cry. I would genuinely sob if that ever got announced. Because it would mean I would have to play it. I would simply have to play it if, if it had the Talos principle name attached to it. And I am so bad at those kind of games. Like any any kind of like rage game, any game where it's like you can just lose all of your progress just like that. I am so bad. I'm just unbelievably bad at them. But if it was Talos, I would have to. <laughs> right, let's have a look at this one. The Phantom Tunnel, ooh. Okay. Okay, connector. I saw a red laser in there. There it is. I don't think this angle will work. Oh, no, it will. Ha ha ha. Oh, uh, hmm. Okay, hmm. Oh, and there's a connector in there as well. So if I... If I put this back where it was... And I'll do this... And, oh, I need blue here. Wait, I, I haven't seen a blue. Have I seen a blue? Is there a blue laser here? I may have no eyes. Okay, I don't see a blue. I don't see any... ...connector swaps either. It's like, if I can get in here and drill along there... I think I drilled through here. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Let me test angles from here. I wonder if there's a way I can connect all of these. Like, if I can connect this through here. I don't think I can. But I think what I have to do here, my theory, is that I, I need to get the drill to drill there. So that I can pull it through from the other side and bring it around to this side. But I only have this drill, and I need this drill to open that door for me to get through it. This door. Because I can only get through this door when it is opened. Oh, the blue is, like, right back here. Okay. Okay, that's where the blue is. So, hmm. So how? How am 
I gonna connect that? I, if I could get that other drill, that would be great, but I feel like I need the blue laser to get that drill. But I need that drill to get to the blue. Hmm. Hmm. It's like, if I could, if I could be on that side. If I could just be on this side while I do that, it I'd be able to, but I can't. Oh, hold on, wait, actually. If I can position the drill properly, I think I might be able to connect this one to the blue. Put it from like here. I don't know whereabouts the blue is on the wall. It, it needs to be further along. I don't think that's far enough along for me to see it. Oh no, I can see the blue from here. <gasps> but can I? Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I may be able to do a really far, really wide angle if I bring this through to this side again. If I bring this through here and I try and do it from like a really, really far back angle, I might. No, I don't think I can quite. I can't quite reach the window. The window of opportunity. Unless. No, I only have one drill and there's two walls. Interesting. DLC 2 Lost Puzzles are fun. They are. They're so hard. They're so good. They, 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 they have so many levels to them where it's like you think you've got it and then you're like, actually, maybe not. Actually, maybe. What am I doing? Wait, can I, I can actually just do that. Why, why have I been... Why have I been struggling with the drill this whole time? I can literally just do this. That means I can use the drill and I'm... Why am I like this? Where did I put the drill? What am I doing? Who am I? Where, where am I? What's going on? What's this on my screen? Is this a video game? Why did I put you over here? Who knows? Right, but if I do this now, I can... And get this connector out of here. I'm silly. I'm silly. Because now... Alright, let's see. I don't think I can quite angle this one. The way I was thinking it would be funny too. I think this like window is too small. But I'll be darned if I'm not going to try it. Oh, no, I think maybe. Oh, no, it will. Uh, it breaks the beam, but that's okay because I got out in time. And now I just take that. And it doesn't work because the door's shut. Of course. Of course. literally just angle it through here if I do this. I'm very silly. It's okay, I can get back through. <laughs> I, I know I know what I'm doing wrong. And I know how to fix it. Don't break that. I will simply have my laser connection right here. Yes. 
And so now that this is going to be visible through this angle, I can do that. Satirical raid. If I could... I put the drill in the wrong spot, but I can fix that. But hi, Loxley, welcome. Welcome on in, welcome to Puzzle Time. Hi, I'm... I'm being very silly, but I'm, I'm figuring things out slowly but surely. But welcome in, Raiders. Welcome, Logsley. I hope you had a good stream. Steamworld Heist? What What is that? I don't think I've heard of that. What kind of heisting were you doing? I hope you had a good a good heist time. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for the raid. Oh, hey, hope I'm enjoying the puzzles. Oh, you want to jump in blind? Th no, that is completely completely fair that is fully fair if you if you don't want the puzzle solutions please don't watch me <laughs> but uh thank you thank you for joining with the raid and thank you for stopping in how do i feel about turn-based strategy games it depends on the game is my my complex answer some of them i love some of them i find really interesting some of them i am just completely terrible at like i'm i'm no good at like strategizing and thinking ahead like, my puzzle brain is very much on, like, the logical trial and error kind of thing. So, like, strategy is more like you have to stick with what you've chosen and you kind of, like, you're going with that. You have to, like, maneuver, change your plan on the fly. I just have one plan that I stick to and if it doesn't work, I start over. So, <laughs> so it's not really, like, the, the right approach for strategy, really. But I do have a lot of fun with strategy games. Like, just casually in my own time. But uh, I hope you had fun with it, though. I hope you had a good stream. And thank you for the resub, too. Oh, my goodness. Wait, I nearly missed that. The 27 months. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is so long. Thank you so much for the resub. Ah, oh, from the dev of SteamWorld Dig. I, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> I don't know what these games are, but if they're turn-based strategy games, it, it sounds like it would be fun. Anyway, I can go in here now, so what I can do now is I can do this. And that'll keep this door open. So now I can connect the red. Can I connect it through the window? I can indeed. There. Now I have the red in line of sight here. Oh, I still need to connect that too, though, to, to get me through. Hmm. So I guess I'm going to have to do it like... If I do it like here, can I have the drill going like here? Then I can go through here. Select the blue. Make it red instead. I can't see the line of sight here that I need. But if I just do that and that, and go around and connect it this way, maybe. And then just bring this in here. I'll do it like... Hey, what would be the best way to do this? Hold on. So I need to do the link. There. There. Right, I think I can make this work. I think. Ah, uh, SteamWorld Dig is like one of those 2D digging games. Ah, oh, like, like an upgrade-y type game. Uh, they also did a roguelike deck builder. And SteamWorld is just the dev's personal playground. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It's just like, okay, so you know it's this dev, but you, there's, there's a variety of things. You don't know what type of game it's going to be. I think that's really cool. I like that. I'll have to check them out. I'm curious now. But I hope you had fun with it, though. I hope you had a good stream. And also, uh, I know it is late as well. So if you have to head off after your stream and go get some rest, that is 100% okay. But thank you for bringing the raid this way. 
Oh, I, I need to, we need to like organize another board game time at some point. I, <laughs> I keep going like, yeah, we got a board game. And then time happens. And then before I know it, it's been three months and I don't know where the time has gone. <laughs> but we, we've got to have a, a board game time again. Cause that's always so fun. But I, I very much appreciate the read though. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I definitely had fun. Not sure you lived up to the strategy portion of your name. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's a Sunday night. It's like the very end of the week. I think it's like the the best excuse for not strategizing as well as usual. Just be like, well, it's it's been a long week. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for the raid. Oh, and Yamato! Thank you for the hydrate. Let me have some of my monster. Have a sippy. I mean, oh wait, wait. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We were planning the non-board game thing. I forgot about. It. And I didn't forget about it. I just kind of my brain mushed into months. We've got to. Yeah, we got to organize that. We got to organize that. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm excited for that. I will get in touch soon. I promise. But I did the puzzle. Woohoo! But a Yamato, thank you for the hydrate. I have had a sip of my monster. And I'm having another one just because I can. <laughs> but, uh, welcome on in. But yes, thank you for Raid. I'm glad you had a good stream, though. I'm glad you had fun with it. Uh, it's 11 p.m., yes, but I have ADHD. Stimulants don't work on me like, like neurotypical brains. I'm fine. I drink Monster to help calm my brain down so that I can actually coherently connect thoughts. <laughs> But hi, I hope you're doing well. And wait, yeah, it's like, it's 11pm for me, so it's like midnight for you, isn't it? Uh, shaking your head that I forgot something relating to Hatsune Miku. I would never. I could never. Not possible. I my, Hatsune Miku is my entire brain. Like, I was so upset when my brother spoiled that a giant Hatsune Miku head flies in the game and eats you for this game. Very upsetting moment for me, for that very true spoiler. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, you're starting a new medication tomorrow. Oh, I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well. I keep my fingers crossed for you. Hopefully it, it works out all right. Yeah, when I, when I was first diagnosed with ADHD, I had to try a couple of medications. Some of them just didn't do anything for me. One of them made me feel like I was losing my mind so that was like a i'm not taking this one and then i finally found the one i have at the moment which works really well for me but also i can it's like a short release one so i can always tell when it's wearing off <laughs> but yes brains are funny little things smack <laughs> I did it. I yes. actually did it. You did. Pretty cool, even if I say so myself. Extreme. And now I have to do the giant cube. But I can do this. Yes. Yes. I love how enthusiastic he's getting about this. I love it. I love at the start he was just like, oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. And now he's just here going, yes, I'm ready. I did it. I'm so cool. I'm so proud. I love your cute. Uh, watching presentations about ADHD. Uh, you keep thinking you should get tested for ADHD, but then put it off for later. Oh, that, that sounds very ADHD. <laughs> but yeah, for me, like, one of the biggest hints towards me having ADHD was the fact that, like, I can drink caffeine and stimulants and not feel, like, wired and awake like other people. And it took a while, but then someone was like... Have, did you know that's a sign of ADHD? And then I started investigating, uh, looking into it, investigating it, and I was like, "This list, that just looks like me. This is just a list of me. Does this thing? Does that thing? Does that thing? This is just a list of things that I do." And that was how I realized. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, having medication has been such a life changer for me. 
Like, I know it doesn't work for everybody. Sometimes medication just really does not work for some people, and that's... That's the kind of situation where it's like, I would never say everyone always needs medication for everything, because everyone reacts differently to things. Everyone's brains are weird. It's not like a one-size-fits-all thing. But for me personally, everyone around me said they noticed a difference as soon as I started the, the medication I'm currently on. They were like, you're actually finishing thoughts. You're actually doing things. We don't have to prompt you to come down and have dinner. You're remembering to do things. It really like Take it made such a up. difference. <gasps> Take the prime sub. Oh, Yamato, thank you. Oh my goodness, 35 months. <laughs> That's a month away from the three years. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you for the resub. Bum, bum, bum. Right, let's go back to, oh. Oh, nearly fell off. Let's go back to eight. Let's let's have a look at this one again now that I've stepped away for a bit. Uh, you're also scared medication would be a life changer for you and it means you should have gotten it way sooner. Oh. oh, don't think of it that way. I don't... I think it's always better to find out something late and get help later on than to just never discover it at all and just suffer. Like, it's it's very easy to, like, think about what could have been. Like, I, I do have times when I'm like, imagine how well I would have done in school if I'd known I had ADHD back then. <laughs> but it's like, I, I, I don't dwell on those things. I just think about now and how things are better now. And it's very nice. Right, this is... Hmm... Right, I've got cube. I've got two connectors. I've got one normal connector. I've got one switch color connector. I need blue laser over here. I have red laser here. If I can connect things up here, then I am set pretty much. I just need, I need a way I can get these up. Like I can get just the cube up, okay? But I need, I need this up there. I need this up there, but I did need to bring it down to open this in the first place. So I need to figure out how to get it back up. Hmm. Hmm. And I don't think there's another blue laser like there's the blue laser back here but the fact that it's back yeah I don't think I'm using this I don't think I'm using this blue laser I think this one was to get that open I think I need to use the red laser to activate the blue one so to do that I need to switch the colors using this but to get an angle for that is really tricky because of the height stuff and the way like it moves, like it needs to be this kind of angle. Right, time to experiment. Okay, yeah, this is way too low like that. Hmm. Try what I tried before. If I do this. And then if I if I connect the blue at this angle back here. Let's see if the blue will eventually connect. No, it's it's still going into the this wall. That doesn't quite work. No, it's just, it's just going into there, yeah. It's so tricky to get an angle that works. Hmm. Hmm. Let me step back and think a second. But yeah. Oh, the tricky part for you was that by your own assessment, you weren't that bad when it came to the symptoms that present. Aha! 
yeah, I feel like it's very easy to downplay it for yourself as well. Like that was something like when I got my assessment, I was really surprised at how many things I was like, well, I think I don't have hyperactivity ADHD. I think it's like the inattentive type. And we were going through like the 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 list of like the the stuff the 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 thingy list you know the thingy list that one <laughs> and oh can I just like zigzag it maybe I don't think I can no I do need it up there but uh, one thing I realized was that like I was going through the list and it was like okay did. Did you look out of the window a lot in class? Did you doodle in your notes in class? Did you get very distracted doing things and start thinking about other things? And I was like, wait, doodling, doodling on my work was a sign of ADHD? And it's like, well, yeah, if you're doing it all the time and you can't concentrate unless you're doing something else with your hands, that's hyperactivity ADHD. And I was just like, but I, what? <laughs> It was such an like an eye opener for me. I was like, no way. Very, very interesting. Hmm. I just need a way I can get things on here. That's my problem. Because I can't carry them through here because we've got the bonk. I can send myself up here. But I can't bring anything with me. And as soon as this connects, it starts going down and then it breaks the laser beam with this wall. So I can't do it like that. Hmm. So much to think about. Yeah, wait, fidgeting is hyperactivity? Yeah, it's it's like if you if you can't st sit still, if you always have to like have your foot tapping or you're like tapping your fingers or like twiddling a pen, that is like a, a symptom of hyperactivity. Like some people do that for other reasons. Some people just like to fidget with things, but it is a, a, a big symptom of ADHD that I didn't even realize for the longest time. <laughs> uh, also Dima, hello. Thank you for the posture check and hydrate. Let me have a big stretch. Let me sit up straight and let me have a sip of my monster. Have a sip of my drink. And uh, welcome on in. Welcome, I'm talking about ADHD. Because, I, uh, how did it even start? Oh, medication, yes. Uh, because I have ADHD. Uh, oh, I'll oh, stepped out for a few minutes. Is this puzzle still giving me trouble? Um, I did step away and solve the lost puzzle. I haven't been in here the whole time. I, I did like step out and do the lost puzzle, which was really fun. I love that puzzle. But uh, this one is stumping me a bit. I gotta try and think things through a bit more. And Lucas, hello! Lucas Armory, welcome in. And Psychic Salad. Welcome, welcome, welcome on, welcome to uh, me talking about how I got diagnosed with ADHD. Hee <laughs> hee. But uh, welcome, welcome. But yeah, this is really cool. This is, this one's making me think a lot. Cause it's like, I know what I need, just not how I can pull that off. Like, mm -hmm. like these bars make everything so much harder to figure out. do this. It's down, but then as soon as I pick up either of them, it's gonna break, so... Hmm. I need this on here. I really want this on here. Oh, I wonder, can I do this like, oh, 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 I think I may have got it. I may have got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. 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 Doink. I got it. I got it. 
I figured it out. I figured it out. And so now I can do that and that, and I go boom. I didn't actually want to connect. No, I don't want to connect it to that one. I do that, and I do that, and I put it on here without connecting it to the one that makes it go down again. Yes, there we go. I got it. I was way overthinking that. I was overthinking that so much. But I did it! Yes! The brain cell finally hit the corner of my brain like the DVD screensaver. <laughs> but there we go! Nine puzzles done in each area. I cannot procrastinate. I have to go in the hexahedron. No, I don't! I can figure out the Sphinx puzzle. I want to figure out the Sphinx. Right, because what did it what did it look like? The Sphinx is like this. It's like a square and then like an arrow head, like an arrow point. So if I can find something that looks similar to this, or like on and off situations, like mm. Hmm. Have a look around. Gonna have a look around. See anything that could possibly match that in any way. <laughs> if I can see any shapes anywhere. Hmm. Ah, oh, such a great solution. I know. I lo I love that level. That was a really fun one. When I finally figured it out, <laughs> I was really overthinking it, and then I was like, "Wait, I can." I don't have to have it on the cube. I can just do it in a straight line right next to the thing. <laughs> oh, oh, but what I was looking at before, I'm trying to remember where it was. It was back between like one and two, I think. Further along. Oh my goodness, Raid! A oh, Raid, hello, Zaro. Zaro? Zaro? Let me know if I, I mispronounced your name. But uh, hello, welcome! Wait, Nui Raid! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nui, thank you. You didn't. You didn't, little old me. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, welcome on in. Welcome Raiders, how's it going? How was the stream? I hope you had a good stream. Welcome, welcome on in to me putting off doing big puzzle in the middle of the level by finding little things in the environment. Welcome to anyone who's new here. Hello, I'm Liri. I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And today is puzzle time. Today I am using every single brain cell I have, which is maybe a three, maybe four at a stretch. <laughs> I'm having some big brain moments. So maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm being a bit mean to myself, honestly. But uh, I'm playing the Talos Principle 2 at the moment, which is an incredible puzzle game. And I'm playing the DLC for it, and I just finished all of the basic puzzles in this area. So I'm finding like little secrets and stuff before I continue to the big thing in the middle of the level. <laughs> but welcome on in! I hope you had a good stream! What were you doing? What was the stream like? <laughs> I'm, I'm just here like, I see the category as just catting, and I love that they've kept that as a category. I remember they added it for April Fools, and I thought they were going to remove all of the joke categories afterwards, but they kept just catting in, and it makes me happy. <laughs> it's such a good category. Ah, <laughs> uh, and come on in! Come on in, the door is open. Welcome in, everybody. This looks like a square. Hmm. Could there be pillars somewhere? Oh, wrong button. Could there be pillars somewhere that correspond to this? Hmm. I don't see any pillars around it though, so I might be wrong. It's so square though. Why is there just a square pillar knocked down here? Why? I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, it's a good category. Well, that's a little pillar, I guess. No, it, I don't think it can be this. Uh, 
but there was... I don't remember what it was that I saw. Featherfly. Oh, it vanished. <laughs> but I remember there being something like around one and two. Yeah, like around here, there's all these little ruins and stuff, and they kind of... I'm kind of suspicious of them. Wait! Hold on. No, maybe not. Hmm. Because I was like, I saw three in a row and I had a moment of like, well, there's, there's three in a row here. But I don't see any more, so I don't think it's that. Hmm. I have no idea what this could be. This is interesting. Oh, thank you for the dictionary narration redeem as well. Thank you, Akira. We have got the letter R. Let's see what we've got for today. What is today's word? Beginning with R. Bada bada bum. I kind of put my finger between two words. I'm, I'm just going to pick a different one. Okay, that's one word. Th this this very nearly ended up questionably, but thankfully it didn't. But uh, the word we have for the dictionary narration redeem is rector. Rector, a noun. One, in the Church of England, a priest in charge of a parish. Two, in the Roman Catholic Church, a priest in charge of a church or a, a religious institution. C, the head of certain universities, colleges and schools. Or four, specifically in Scotland, a person elected to represent students on a university's elect uh, an, on a blah, 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 on a university's governing body. The origin is the Latin for ruler. And um, yeah, I'm glad it landed on rector. That's that's a, a good word to know. A good good definition to have. <laughs> Very glad I didn't point further down the page. <laughs> but thank you for the dictionary redeem. Uh, also, I meant to say as well, from coming in from the raid as well, if you have to head off after the stream, you gotta go get some rest, get some food, get some drink. Please don't feel like you have to stick around because you raided. But if you, if anyone does want to stick around, I'm having a good time at the moment. We're just on a, a lovely little tropical island. We've, we've had some crabs dancing. Let's see, are there any crabs? Crab. Where are the crabs? There's, there's gotta be a crab on the beach. There, look, crabs! Look how cute they are. Look how cute they are. Crab rave. Yeah, there, there, there was unironically a crab rave earlier in the stream. <laughs> there was actually unironically a crab rave. It was so good. And Sir Ryu and Xanark as well. Thank you for the follows. Welcome on in. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for following. Flip it over to do maximum damage. I don't, I don't want to do damage. I don't want to do damage. It's just a baby. It's just a little guy. It's just a little guy. Why would you want to hurt him? He's just got little leggies. Just having a little dance. Lovely. I love crabs. <laughs> uh, where do they store their sunglasses? In the sand. It's all just buried in the sand. Oh man, wish you could redeem Crab Rave Automatone. Yeah, I I turn the Automatone redeems off for these streams because it is 11 p.m. And I do live with other people in the house, so I have to avoid getting too loud. And the Automatone is very loud, even on its, like, quietest settings. It's loud. So I, I can't really Automatone at this time of night. But the redeems will be up later in the week, in my streams during the week, so... <laughs> But yes, also Yamato as well. I just realized, I just realized it is past midnight where you are now. Happy Fappy. <laughs> it's your birthday, isn't it? I hope it's your birthday. I, I hope I didn't get that wrong. I would, I would play Happy Birthday on the Automaton, but loud. Beep, 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 beep,
Oh no, I left the emo confetti in. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. I forgot. I forgot to reload the confetti cannons after the stream yesterday. I, I left the emo confetti in. Hold on, let me... Let me put the pink confetti back in. <laughs> Give me a second. There we go. Okay, I've, I've reloaded the confetti cannons. <laughs> Karaoke stream day two. Well, there will be a day two, just not today. Especially not at 11 p.m. on a Sunday. <laughs> there we go, it's pink again. Yay! Also, thank you for the follow as well, Taro. Thank you, thank you for bringing the raid this way too. And thank you, Noe, for leading the raid this way. It is very appreciated. I hope it was a good stream. I hope you had fun with the Just Catting. Oh, from Just Catting to Cat Girl. It works. It works out. Right, but yeah, like the first time I came here, I, I noticed all of these little pillars and I was wondering if they could be related to something, but I don't think it is the pillars because they're all so spread out. And I don't think they would be like this spread out. For a puzzle. Oh my goodness, wait, there's people to talk to here. Oh, 1K in Melville. <gasps> this is going to be so weird. Talking to myself, talking to me. This is going to be really weird. This is going to be so strange. I like that they have a screwdriver for the coconuts. Oh, I thought I ignored them on purpose earlier. Well, if it was earlier today, it was definitely not on purpose. But uh, the first time I saw them, I did, because I was like, I'll talk afterwards. I was just running around when I got to this area. But no, I'm not, I'm not ignoring them if, if, if I ran past them. Oh, I got distracted by the raid. <laughs> yeah, I straight up just didn't notice them. I just, I didn't notice. I was distracted by raid. <laughs> but, oh, this is going to be really strange. So I'm going to talk to Melville first. Hi. Hello, you coot. Hi. I'm doing puzzles. Do you think we'll get it right this time, as a species? Weirdly, I do. I think we've passed some sort of threshold. I don't know what's next, but I think the old loops are broken. You know what? I think so, too. I, I trust this lot. I Well, I, I trust most of them. I don't trust Pellegrino. Okay. <laughs> What's your biggest project right now? Expanding the wormhole network so we can get further out into the galaxy. Yeah. It'll take an enormous amount of infrastructure to do correctly, which is why we're taking it slow. Good. But if we pull it off, it'll be incredible. It will, will it? Imagine how many puzzles there might be in space. Just think about it. How's Pellegrino? He's learning, which I didn't think possible. Whoa. Makes me suspicious. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this sensor upgrade you're testing. It's a side project I'm working on. Biological humans had all sorts of sensory organs that we lack, and that was a significant part of their culture. Yeah. Seems a shame to limit ourselves to the handful of inputs the Institute managed to slap together before they went extinct. Yeah, oh, are we, I, I can't believe Yakut is going to ask Melville for relationship advice. But somehow I feel like she would have really good advice. I feel like she would have great advice. Got any relationship advice for me? Just be yourself. People don't like you because of your skills or your intelligence. They like you because you're a decent person. You're funny and compassionate and a good friend. Besides, you'll never be half as smart as Miranda, <laughs> so why try? Of course, there, there's, there's, the, there's the little sting. But what did I say? I, she, she's so right. She's so right. Oh, did I know Melville is Julia Tight? Wait, really? Really? Same voice? I did not know that. 
I also would never have guessed that. That's so interesting. Yeah, I have I haven't looked up the voice cast for this. I I keep meaning to, and then like I didn't do it while I was playing the game, so I didn't want to be spoiled in case there were like characters later on that I hadn't met. But I can probably do it now, I think. I, I don't think I will be super spoiled on characters at this point. I don't know, I, st I still may wait until after I've done the DLC to start deep diving, but that's so cool. Right, yeah, I want to know what's going on with this. So, what's up with you and Herman? He's malfunctioning, that's what's <laughs> up. It's very sad. We might have to put him down. I love that. I love Herman trying to flirt with Melville, and Melville's just like, well, there's clearly something wrong with you. <laughs> it's so like her, but also, like, I'm, I'm kind of rooting for them now. I actually think they might work out really well together, like, if they wanted to. I could see it see working. See you later, Melville. You coot. Oh. There is one thing that scares me sometimes. Not that things could go wrong, but... How close this future came to not happening. Um. 1K would have been perfectly justified in making a different yeah. choice. What if we... What if we didn't earn this? What if we don't deserve it? No. Okay, there's... Nobody deserves anything, Melville. Neither good nor bad. Everyone deserves a better world, Melville. It's not something you have to earn. Or then we earn it now by doing it right. Oh, I don't... Oh... I like these. I like these responses. But also, I... Uh, I feel like this one. I'm... Mm, oh, I don't know. It's like, I, I don't like the word deserves. Like, thinking of, like, putting things, like, in a term of, like, deserving things or earning things. Or, like, you only get this thing if you've done arbitrary thing to deserve it. Like, who who makes those rules? Like, who determines what allows you to deserve something? What are those limits? Like, everyone has different views on that. It's so... It, I, I don't agree with that, like, concept of, like, deserving in that sense. I don't know. It's, like, it's, it's a really weird point because, like, if a person does good things then it's nice if good things happen. If a person does bad things, then they probably should be punished for it. But saying deserve is like... I don't know, just I, just the nuance of it is just slightly off to me. Like, I don't know how to explain it properly, but it's... Hmm. I think I'm going to do the second one, though. I like this one. Everybody deserves a better world, Melville. It's not something you have to earn. Then I suppose we got lucky, and we better appreciate it. Yeah. Also, I love how Melville sits. <laughs> right. Okay, 1K, hello. Hello, myself. Myself from the base. You coot! Bro! <laughs> no? No, I don't think bro is something I say. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Just testing out this voice pack. Do I say mate? No. Mate. No. Mate, mate, mate. No. Mate. No. No, not mate. You don't sound like a mate person. No, mate, mate sounds wrong. That just read that fell wrong. So yeah, no. <laughs> you don't sound like a mate person. I don't, do I? No. Well, that's out then. But how have you been? How's Miranda? <laughs> that ain't it, mate. I feel like if I started saying mate, be like, how's it going, mate? Mate? What is up, mate? It, it, I, I, I know it doesn't work for me. What would I say? I don't think I'd use like a term like bro, mate, or anything. If anything, I'd be joking just like buddy, buddy, chum. My good old pal, I'd just, like, make a joke out of it. I don't think I'd, like, unironically say anything in that situation. I'd just be like, hi! My friendo. No, I wouldn't say that either. 
Oh, uh, how did the old pirate greet his old friend to his 80th birthday? Mm, matey? <laughs> uh, so how, how's it going with Miranda? Hey, matey! Oh, I, 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 matey. That's, oh, that's incredible, actually. That's a good joke. <laughs> I am mate. <laughs> right, so how 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 are things with Miranda? Yakut would be would be insecure. I I could see him saying this once. So that's the one I'm picking. She's doing great. I hope I'm doing okay too. As a boyfriend, I mean. Of course you are. Don't be silly. You're a great guy, and she's madly in love with you. Yeah. End of discussion. So true. Right, here we go. How do you like the exhibition? It's fun, but the puzzles are a little <laughs> bit too easy. Yes. Byron mentioned that the puzzles in the machine were a lot harder. And I'm kind of sad I missed out on that. Yeah. But this is also too. nice. It's kind of chill. Is chill something I say? Yeah, I think you say chill. Chill was good. I think it is. Yeah, chill was good. Mate didn't work, but chill chill works. Looking back, how do you feel about the whole megastructure thing? Honestly, on some days it seems like a dream. On others, it seems like I'll never experience anything as profound again. I don't just mean the theory of everything. I think... I think no matter what comes next, the most important part of my life was the time I spent Aww. with all of you on that island. I don't want to be... This feels a bit flippant to me. I don't like that. I'm, I'm just going to... Yeah, I, empathy. I understand what you mean. Well, that's because you were there. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I could explain this to anyone else, but for me, I think this was the defining experience of my life. And if I can never top that, that's fine. I found my family, and together... We changed the course of history. Yeah. I couldn't have done it without them. And they couldn't have done it without me. Yeah. Of course, I'm looking forward to the future. But I don't need something that exceeds this. Yeah. I've got to say, it's so funny hearing 1K go, I think this was the defining point in my life. And I'm just sat here like, it was the first point in your life. You had literally just been born and then you went on the expedition and all this happened. It, it was the first experience of your life. <laughs> you, you had just been born. <laughs> Which is so funny. Just be like, I've just been born and been through all of this. How can anything match up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the machine puzzles are rough. I know, I'm just sat here like, oh yeah, it's such a shame I missed out on all of those puzzles inside the machine that were so much harder. I, I sure, I'm so sad I don't get to play them. <laughs> right, that looks at DLC 3. <laughs> I'm really excited for the fiendishly hellish difficult puzzles. Right, oh yeah, the sensor upgrade. How's the sensor upgrade? I haven't tried it yet. It's massively weird and kind of awesome. Also really hard to describe because it's so unique and subjective. Yeah. I'm not surprised the ancients love to eat and drink and, you know, all that fun stuff they did with their bodies. When we talk about them, we're always going on about disease and mortality, but we forget that they also experienced a lot of pleasure. And I think we can actually push our own sensations far beyond what our ancestors experienced. All right. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, just like, you know, I really turned around and opened my eyes to the world that day. The day I was born. They're fine. I'm, I, I'm really excited for it. Because I, I remember talking to Xander and he was just like, uh, DLC 3 is the hardest. And I was like, I kind of, I kind of guessed that from 
the small snippet I read. <laughs> I'm so ready for it. I'm so excited for it. It's I'm I'm 1K. It's so weird hearing 1K with this voice pack because this is me. This is me. It's me. <laughs> what are your plans for the future? I really enjoyed all the exploration missions we went on together. Yeah. So I think I'd like to do more of that. Mm -hmm. There's so much to see up there. Maybe we'll even find Lithras here. Although, I do need some downtime to figure myself out. I was thrust into this enormous <laughs> okay. adventure literally the day I was yeah. born. Sometimes I just want to hang around New Jerusalem, reading books and watching movies. And playing text adventure games. I have... I, I love that we can keep talking about this. Is Herman really trying to woo Melville? Oh, you better believe he is. <gasps> I think that's the main reason she agreed to come here. Oh. Is it working? I'm not sure. She says she's annoyed, but I don't know. I don't think the weird thing is. is that it's kind of charming. Now right. that he's dropped the whole founder thing, Herman's not that bad. He even kind of gets along with Byron now. Oh, that's good. But that's exactly what I was saying too. Like he was unbearable before, but like hearing him in this, I'm like, oh, he doesn't seem that bad anymore. He seems like he's actually changed, which genuinely surprised me. But I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of on board for the Herman Melville. I'm I'm like I'm I'm here for that. I think they would work well. Right, yes, puzzle advice from myself. What's the secret to solving puzzles? You're the expert, right? Huh. I'd say a combination of spatial awareness and questioning your own assumptions. Yeah. The easiest way to get stuck is to decide that things have to work in a particular way and miss other possibilities. And you keep doing the same thing over and over and it doesn't work. Yeah, right. And then you have to step back and look at it from a different angle and then you get it. Wow, that is that is so right, me. See you around, 1K. I've just got the exact same views on everything. This is also what I would do if I had a coconut in my hand right now. I would give it a sniff and shake it and see what it sounds like. Turn it upside down a bit. Yeah, I'd, I'd do that. Right, anyway. I was looking for what this Sphinx thing could be. I have been... I've gotten so distracted. Like, I don't know what these... This could be. It's like there's a, there's like a little... I keep seeing these little pedestals around. But it's like, with how close together these ones are, the others would also have to be fairly close if it was the pedestal. So I don't think it's that. What else is around that it could be? Like, I don't even know if it's in this area. It could be in a different area. Like, just because the Sphinx was here. Oh, I haven't done this yet either. The other Pandora. Green. Green. Is there a green in that puzzle? Ow. Oh, I, I ran into a tree. Time to see if there's a green in that puzzle. But yeah, I kind of just presumed because because of the fact that um, the Sphinx is in this area that the solution would be in this area, but I don't actually know that for sure. Oh, I haven't been up, like, over the bridge and up the top as well for a while. Because that's where I'll have to go to activate the laser, but I haven't had a look around there. Right, I... There is a cube here. I could lift a laser thing up. There is the potential to make green here. Is it this puzzle to see it though? I think. Oh. I disoriented myself then. I was moving too fast. Is it here? No, I think it's... Yeah, that's where the Sphinx is. And then Pandora's further along. So it's not going to be this puzzle. I don't think it'll be the next one, maybe. Or maybe I can get something from that puzzle into the next one and use that. 
Yeah, puzzle number eight. Let's have a look. Oh, because this one goes up so high as well. I, if I can get a green. Eight. If I can get a green up here somehow. Hmm. I think I'd need the single connector. If I can get the single connector up here and connect it to a green somehow, then I, I'm pretty sure I'd be able to see the Pandora. Let me... Let's have a look. Yeah, there's like a perfect line of sight from here. I, I don't actually need that to be open anymore. Oh, does this just... Yeah, okay, I just need to get it down, so... Okay, no, that's not gonna go down all the way, that's gonna get locked, yeah. However... No, yeah, because that gets blocked off by that. I, I want to I want to get that single connector up here. I think getting the single connector up here is the the way to do it. Oh, so I just do what I did before, but the opposite way around, right? Yeah, I just connect the red right next to it, like that, and do this. Yeah, and then I can get the single connector up there instead, and then that is ready. To attach to a green laser from where? From there? From there. Yes. Let's connect that. Pop it up here. Yep, we've got a straight line of sight there. This puzzle, I need... Which one is this? I need to get to that puzzle and then send a green over to here. Which puzzle is this puzzle? Up and around that puzzle, whichever that puzzle is. It's not this puzzle, it's... This puzzle? This puzzle? No, it's not this puzzle. Oh wait, Al and Byron are up here. Oh, never mind, I have to talk to them. Oh, I think it was that puzzle, the one I ran past. Okay, anyway, happy accident, because I didn't spot these two. Oh, look, spending time together. They are friends, they're looking after each other. I'm so glad. Also, Kiraboros, hello, thank you for the lurk as well. Sorry, I'm getting like super super engrossed in puzzles, but thank you for lurking. Happy to have you here. Let's talk to you, Byron. Hey, you could. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. How you doing, Byron? I'm doing well, thank you. Yeah. I still have a lot to learn, but at least we're moving forward now. Yeah. You've helped a lot too, you could, even though you never take credit for it. Oh. No offense, but how come you came to the exhibition? One case suggested that I needed to stay in touch with what's happening on the ground. So true. What the people I represent are actually doing. To remember that this is about human beings, not spreadsheets. And also to talk to Al. I think that's pretty important. A silly, stubborn man. In order to avoid repeating the whole founder situation. <laughs> Besides, a lot of citizens are getting directly involved with running things, so it's not like I have to be there all the time. Oh, no. And, well, I heard Al was yeah. here oh. and... You wanted to make Never it mind. right? Yeah, you wanted to fix things, you wanted to... 
wanted to wanted to figure things out, talk to him again. These silly stubborn men. I love them. I love these silly stubborn men so much. Is there anything that worries you about the future? I think we have to start thinking about changing the way we organize society. Oh boy. It was all pretty simple when we were bound to one city and one planet, but Mayor isn't really an accurate title for what I do anymore, No, is you're it? kind of like a prime minister. We'll need better no. systems, but we'll also have to make sure those systems are democratic, not bureaucratic. Yay, politics. I will let you deal with that and have nothing to do with it. I've got puzzles to solve, thank you. Do you have any relationship advice for me? Never let anything fester. Yes. It's not conflict you have to be worried about, but resentment. Exactly. I'm glad you finally realized that. Any news about that weird anomaly Athena discovered? According to Melville's latest calculations, if we built a Noema machine as big as the moon, we could reach the anomaly in about 42 billion years. I see. So I think it's not a priority right now, even though I'd really, really like to know what it is. Yeah, me too. Puzzles. Did you solve any puzzles? I did. Even Melville did a few. Hey! But 1K just rushed through them. Mm -hmm. Had the time of his life. I guess he just loves puzzles. I do. I, I love puzzles. Exclamation point puzzles. Did you know that Herman is trying to yeah. woo Melville? Oh, no, I didn't know. Wow! <laughs> He was my political enemy, but that's a harsh fate. <laughs> I hope he has plenty of backups. Oh, I love that we're gossiping. I love that we're spreading the gossip right now. We're like, hey, did you hear about Herman and Melville? <laughs> Let me spill the tea. It's really nice that you and Alcatraz are talking yeah. again. You have no idea how relieved I am. I think I was walking around with an open wound and I didn't even realize all right, talk to you later. All right, talk to you later. I'm so glad. And Al's got something new to say now as well. It's, it's going to be to do with talking with Byron again. I'm You're glad. good. What can I do for you? Yeah. I'm so glad you're in the group now, Al. It sucked that you weren't there. Yeah. Thanks, wrong. Yakut. It was awkward, but I'm glad we finally got it out of our system. You all mean a lot to me, and cutting myself off like that, it just wasn't healthy. It wasn't. I'm glad. I'm glad the family's all, all together. Right. I should go. I love this family. This is such a great family. They make me so happy. Right. Yeah, it is this puzzle. This is where I need to get the green up. Yeah, oh, it's this one! Wait, yes, okay, yeah, this makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, I just need to, like, connect the red and the blue. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that's just connected to... Oh, but it's connected to all three of them, that's the problem. I need to block the green. I need it to just connect to the red and blue. So do I bring it over here? Oh, but then it won't reach. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's got blue. If I also give it red, I will make it green. And now, is there a way I can read? Out of the puzzle room. I could only reach it with that one because of how high up it was. I'm gonna have to connect it to here manually. But I think what I have to do is I, I it needs to be here. This was the spot I could reach it at. But I need to make sure it's making a green laser. So to do that, I think I need to block this green. I, oh, I just need to block this green. 
is there a way I can block this? How do I block you? How do I block you? Can I just like drop this in front? And block it off? I put this like right here. Oh, it's not quite tall enough to block it. Hmm, how do I block this green so that it's only the red and blue going to it? Hmm. Because at the moment the red is blocked off, so it's got a green and blue going into it and it's making it a red laser. This is a red laser. Oh, imagine if I could just connect that. <laughs> But I don't think I have a way of getting this, like, up here. I don't think I can pick this up. No, it's too high up, so I couldn't pick it up. Hmm. on something. No, I can't stand on it. And there isn't a cube in here. Ha! Ah! Right, I wonder if I can see it from over here. If I connect it like this, I wonder if... I'm gonna try just doing this for now and just see if I can spot this from the puzzle down at the bottom. Because if I can, then we're fine. If not, I need to think of something else. Cube has forsaken us. I know. Wait, wait where, where is our cube friend when we need them? I want cube friend, please. Okay, I pick this up. Can I connect? I cannot connect from here, but I might be able to... If I move it along to the end. Let me try. All the way up and around again. Oh, it's not that far away, actually. like right down to here there it's it's way closer now and then instead of the red we connect it to the blue so that is green that is making a green laser now so now if we go back over here and see if i can see it to see what i can see 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 because I don't know where else I would get a green from. Unless I'm making like a really... Oh, there's more pillars and stuff. I can... Oh, wait, look at this. Wait, this is cool. I like that wall. I don't think any of the pillars have anything to do with anything, but I still keep looking at them. I'm like, oh, pillars? There are pillars here? Let me back. Let me back. I need to find a way to get green. Can I see it? I can't see it from this angle. I can only see it from like this angle. But if I do that, then the green laser is connected to it and it doesn't work. Ah. Right, is there anything else where I can make a green laser? that might reach there, I wonder. Oh, maybe, oh, oh my goodness, wait. Here, here, this is it, this is the one. This one, this one, I bet I can connect this one. Let me remove that for a second. Bring this down. The green.
forgot which direction it is in. Hold on. Uh, yeah, it's that way. Okay. Okay, what I'm actually going to do here is... I'm going to jump on it with the fan myself just to get the connection I need. If I can see it. Where is it? It's like... No, the, the wall's in the way. I can't see it. Oh, wait. Can I... I can just do it directly. I'm so silly. Can I? I think I... I might be able to just... No, what was that selecting? Hold on. It's like right here. It's right here! Come on. I don't know what I'm connecting to, but it's not the statue. <laughs> Is it just slightly too sideways? I'm in pain. Oh, it's like here. What else can I connect to? Do we go for something way off hmm I don't know what that's even connecting to oh I just there has to be a way is it just like slightly too slightly too far over maybe to see it because I was so sure I could see it Oh, mouse wheel click is zoom. Oh, I, I always forget that. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to see it from here because of this wall being in the way. Ugh. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. Right on the corner, maybe. No, I don't think it's gonna reach like this. There has to be another way to get green here. Like, I feel like this puzzle is the way to do it. Like, it's so... It makes such a, a clear path across. There's gotta be a way I can make that green and block that green off somehow. There has to be a way. I refuse to believe there isn't a way. Ah, oh, gonna get some sleep. I hope you get good rest. Thank you for stopping in. And happy birthday again. Bringing this back around. Because I know when it's over here, I can target it. I know I can see it when it's over here. But I need that to be green. And at the moment, it's going red. It's like, I don't want this green. The green's like too powerful. The green overwrites it. I don't want this green. How do I... I can't just like place this. Oh, maybe, maybe? No. I was like too low down if I place this. The laser's too high up. I can't block it. Uh, oh no, wait, I can use another laser to block it. <gasps> hold on, hold on. If I also connect it to just like, whatever, there. No, it's still too high up to block things. Oh no, oh, oh. Target something higher up. Sure, target that too. Oh, there's gotta be a way I can break this. Break this beam. There has to be a way. Wait, 
wait, wait, wait. I've, I've just had a genius thought. I've just had a genius thought. I don't need to keep it connected to make the, the tower work. I just need to connect it for like a second. And it should then activate and be completed. I don't have to keep it that way. I can stand. I can be the block. I can be the thing that blocks the green and makes the screen by standing in the way just long enough for it to count. <laughs> At least I really hope it works that way. We'll soon find out. It's time to find out if it's work if it works the way I think or if I'm just wishful thinking. Right, if I do this, it goes green. It did! It worked! Oh, showing off! Solve both Pandora monuments without using a static connector. Nice, but hold on, but... Isn't this the static... connector? Well, I'll, I'll take it. But yay, it worked! Oh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. So all that's left is the Sphinx, and then there's one other one that I haven't done. Oh, I, was there another Sphinx? There's probably another Sphinx. I don't know if I found it yet, though. Right, what are your words of wisdom, you cute? Oh! Today oh. is born the seventh one. Born of Robot, the seventh son. And he, in turn, of a seventh son. He has the power to repair. He has the gift of the upgraded sensors. Ah. He is the chosen one. So it shall be written. So it shall be done. Oh, that's what I was, like, pinging to, wasn't it? That's, that's what my cursor kept pinging to when I was trying to get the sideways angle. I'm just now realizing. That would have made it considerably easier, but I'm so glad I didn't figure that out because I got a cooler solution instead. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so glad that worked out though. I just had like the moment of like, no, it just, as soon as it activates, it, it pings and you get it. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of myself. Right, and now the only other area I'm thinking of where I haven't really explored much is back where there was the area with the treasure chest and the little rope bridge to go across the way that's like to the laser tower bridge up there i haven't really explored up there so i want to have a look up there because I, I do need to do the tetris bridge anyway as well i've, I've got all the puzzles done but yeah i haven't had much of a look up here So let's see. Oh, it allows you to use lasers from the hexahedron, but they're bugged. Oh, <laughs> oops. That's funny, though. Oh, I'm glad I got that that way. I feel proud of myself for it. I still haven't seen anything that looks like it could be this the sphinx pattern i might go look in the other areas as well oh well maybe i'll do like a camera mode maybe i'll do camera mode and have a little zoom around the area like zoom really far out and see if i see anything that could vaguely be those shapes okay boom Oh, if I just do this first one the other way around, I think that'll work. I do this, and then I do this. No, maybe not. Wrong square. Start with that. Then I'm gonna do that. Oh, then that, and then that. Yes! 
Tetris time. I love the music that plays doing the Tetris bridges. I love this theme. It's so good. Oh, like the laser would go into the connector and then just stop unless you go close to it. Then it magically activates. Oh, that's funny. I mean, I bet it wasn't funny for you when you were trying to actually solve the puzzles, but... Oh my goodness, I'm a genius. That was pure luck. That was that one was luck. That I didn't like fully think that one through. I was just like, I feel like I could make this work. And it the the pieces fell in my favor. That that was that was very lucky. <laughs> it was a very lucky solution. But I will take it. Look at that. And a boop! Activating large. Well done. You may now access the hexahedron. Ooh, Ooh. exciting. That's so exciting. I'm so proud of Yakut for this. Right, I feel like up here as well would be a good time to use camera mode to try and have a look around for sphinxy stuff. At first. Lately, I've noticed a I kind of disbelief among some of my fellow artists. Uh, they find it difficult to accept that the great struggle for human emancipation has led to a happy ending. After all that tragedy, or that pain, can it really be that the world is truly, finally a better place? Like Thomas the Apostle, they just cannot wrap their minds around such a miracle. <laughs> I, I do not blame them. Key. All our lives we were told that true art is the depiction of suffering, that happiness writes in white ink on a white page, and happy endings are both trite and impossible. But now the miracle is upon us, and we cannot look away. It is time to touch the wounds, and to believe. Okay, wow, that was a really intense one for the last last speech I found. Right, I want to have a, a look around. Let's see. Let's see. If I can find something that looks like it might be Sphinx-ish. How do I go up? Here. Let's have a look around. Anything that looks remotely like it could be squares. Hmm. If there is, I can't see it from here. <laughs> no, I don't think the photo mode thing is working. It's 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 a little bit of a limited view, a limited angle. Hmm. Hmm. But it's like everything else has been like when you find the the statue in that area, it seems like close to that area, so hmm. Oh, unless there might be something like back at the beginning, maybe. Hmm. Let's have a look. I'm just gonna go back to the beginning and have a look around the, the very start point. Oh, oh there's also like there's like more clumps of land that like aren't technically part of the area, but they are still kind of part of the area. Oh wait, wait, I can use the map. Hold on. Let's have a look at the map. Let's see if there's anything that jumps out at me here. Hmm. to think about. Hmm. 
don't think I'm seeing anything. I keep thinking like I'm spotting something and then I'm like, no, I don't think that would work actually. Hmm. Let's see, have a look. Bum -ba -dum. But yeah, I still need to find the other Sphinx as well. I haven't actually found where the other Sphinx is. Or if I have, I ran past it and didn't go up to it. So I still need to find that. I still have not actually done that. I don't know where it is. So I think what I'm going to do for now is... how I go into the mega structure. I'm going in. I'm doing it. Oh, great. Great. I see. I see how this is going to be. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm in an Escher painting. The hexahedron. I'm in. I'm in. And Hack this is why in. we don't stick our heads into magnets, Barzai. <laughs> Yakut! What's that supposed to mean? Right, okay. Haha. -ha. How do I get to you? Oh my goodness, this is just going to be about finding my way around, isn't it? Okay, around this way. No, this just led me in a circle, hold on. How do I get to there? Oh, I need to go like up and then down and oh, it's upside down. <laughs> okay. Okay, I see. All right. Okay, up I go. Boop. I'm upside down now, there we go. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna get so lost. I'm gonna get so lost in this place. Bum, 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 bum. Right, because that's now on the ceiling. Well, it's like it's not. It's it's the 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 floor from before. Is there a way I can get there? Hmm. What happens if I jump off the edge? Hmm. <sighs> If I get... Okay. Oh, if I jump, I... Oh. Okay, if I jump, I go back to the right way around. Okay. That was an important lesson to learn. And I got lucky. Oh, I'm going back out again. I'm... <laughs> This may take me a while. This may... This may end up being a I shouldn't be doing this past midnight kind of thing. But I'm still going to have like a, a fair go at it. Whoa, what's that up there? There is data. Or something. Unless it's just a bush. Oh, no, I think they're just bushes. Never mind. Never mind. Anyway... Yeah, it's just bushes. It's because I've got the render distance down. Um. Okay, well, I'm... East. I'm going to get so lost. I'm already so lost. Where am I? What am I doing? What is... What is happening? 
Can I... Oh, I guess this is just another way in from a different area. Okay. Oh, there's the statue, the statue, the statue. I remember the statue. I followed the statue. Statue, you lead me to the start of the puzzle, which I jumped out of. Yeah, first step, get to that laser and set it up in here. That seems like it should be easy. And it's not going to be. Oh, it'd be terrifying if you fall into the sky. It would be. If I could fall into the sky, do you think puzzles would pass me by? The hit song, 1K Miles. <laughs> Hold on, that actually kind of works. 1K Miles. The puzzle version. Do, 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 do. Hi, Raiders! Hi, Raiders! Welcome on in! Gay Wolf Raid! Happy Sapphic Sunday! Welcome, welcome! Welcome to, um... I am in trippy hell. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to fall into the sky. And I think time will pass me by. <laughs> But welcome! I hope you had a good stream! Welcome on in, Suzume! Welcome, Raiders! Hi, welcome to the Hexahedron! I am about to go upside down. Um, I am... I am currently doing this. And I am so confused by everything. But I'll figure it out, I believe. I believe. Are oh, you finished? Oh, the fairy secret. Oh, I've been looking at that. I've been meaning to, to check that out. It looks good. I hope you had a good stream. I hope you had fun with it. But uh, thank you for bringing the raid this way. For anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And today is puzzle time. And I've, I've done a lot of big braining in this stream. I've had a, a lot of like proud intelligent moments it's not one of those right now i will admit but it's okay right I'm, I'm back on my feet again i'm back like the right way around i'm just gonna keep going keep going around oh i think this worked Whoa. yes i found it i made it i made it oh but I need that connector to be like in here. Will I be able to see that from like over here? Where I need it to be? Let's see. No, I don't think I can still see that if I do this. Like I can connect this, but it can't actually see that red anymore because of where it is. Hmm. Oh, unless I can connect that blue I think what I do is I'll, I'll put this like back here yeah that will connect to the red because we've got the white line and if I can reach this blue one disconnect it from the blue connect it to the red instead that will work how do I get there <laughs> oh it's so it's so weird it's almost like staticky stone the upside down so interesting. Uh, if I do plan to play it, uh, play the fairy song first. Oh, yes. If it's like a series thing, I'll definitely play them in order. But thank you. Thank you for the recommendation as well. It's one I've heard of and always thought, oh, that seems good. But when when people I know recommend it, it, it has a bit more weight. <laughs> it bumps it up my list a little bit. But I hope you had a lovely stream. And if you have to head off and go get some rest or have some food or drink, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you want to, you get to watch me wandering around trying to figure out what am I doing? The answer is I have no idea.
Yeah, that's the way all of Talos 2 is because of global illumination or upscaling. Oh, that makes sense. It's just so funny because like the connector kind of makes a staticky sound too. So it's like the sound of the static of the underside of the rock. <laughs> right, if I could power that up. Oh, I could do that. Wait, I can do that. Oh. I was so focused on this red because it was the first thing I saw. I can do this. Checkpoint reached. Oh. I am so glad there are checkpoints. Thank you, game, for providing checkpoints. I'm happy. I'm up. Where am I? Okay, what am I doing now? Walking on the side. Okay. Okay. Fan. Okay. Where am I going? I don't know. I'm just... I will let the fans take me there. If... There's a fan booping me up here. I guess I'm up here. Oh, this is gonna be... I can reach the blue from here, I bet. Oh, maybe? Oh, no, there's another fan. Okay, you know what? Sure. Fan time. It is. Okay. So then with the blue, we can connect that to the red. And then if I just go... Boop. We can now get the red. Ha ha. So I can connect it like that. Checkpoint. Okay, not checkpoint yet. That's okay. Let me get whatever's in here. Jammer! What am I jamming? Why do I... Hold on. I don't know why I need a jammer. Why do I... Why do I need a jammer? Hmm. Where is there... There's gonna be like a doorway somewhere that I can't see yet. Why do I need this? I don't know why I need this, but I'm glad I have it, so. <laughs> what am I doing with you? Oh! That's what I need it for. Haha! -ha! Checkpoint reached! Woohoo! Now the question is Oh, this fan's not even on. Is it? Yeah, no, this fan's not on. Ah. Okay, let's get this connector back. Boop, that doesn't need to be open anymore. Let's, I saw a green laser like up on the wall. Somewhere. Somewhere there. So, there we go. And now I'm up here. Oh, this is so pretty, though. Oh, look. Oh, that is such a weird view. Oh, look at the sideways view. This is strange. This is so strange to look at. I forgot that I am not, like flat against the floor. I am at an angle. That's so... This is wild. I love this. Also, Kura Syllabus, hello! Yes, it is puzzle time. And there's so many of them. And I love them. I'm just gonna keep going up. When in doubt, I ascend. It's like, all of the puzzles in this seem very straightforward so far. It's just about finding where where you are where to go ah oh, okay 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 i'm here now uh i don't know which way up i am 
Oh, no, I know which way up I am. Okay, I'm upside down. <laughs> I'm so glad they have the trees here as a handy... Handy reference for... Where are you? No, oh, I need... I need to connect green to that somehow. It's in there. Do I use that? Hold on. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where the green from before is and if there's a way I can feasibly connect it to that connector there. I think it's a connector at least. Yeah, that looks like a connector. But I, even if I do, I don't have a way to attach that to the thing. But I could at least make it green. I need a connector. Whoa, hold on, what's, whoa, hi. What's in there? Is that where where I'm aiming to get to? I think that might be where I'm trying to get. Oh, that's a green connector, but it's connected to blue lasers at the moment, so I need to turn those lasers green. Eventually? Now? Later? Who knows? I don't know where I am. <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah, there's got to be a way to connect a laser to that. I need to connect connect a green laser to that somehow. Hmm. I wonder if I can reach that. From, from like, this bit. I wonder if I'll die if I just, like, jump off here. It's not like a super big jump. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Right, okay, I can connect this to that as well. No, I can't, okay. Hmm. Oh, I could just connect it from here. Okay, okay, that's easier. <laughs> there we go, I got it. I got it, that was, that was much easier than my faffing around. And now I can head on up again. And, oh, but how do I, yeah, I need to get. Oh, wait, no, I just go. Cause I can do space, space, disengage. I land. Ha ha. Oh no, it's blocked! Oh, it has to be a more straight line. I think it does have to connect to this somehow. Aww. So close yet so far. I didn't notice the, the gate. That's a shame, so close. I need another connector. It's so easy to get lost in here. I keep wondering just like, where am I? Right, because if I could get that one too, if I can grab that and bring that down. I don't remember how I got there. How did I get there? I used the blue fan to get there, I think. 
don't remember where exactly that took me. But uh, I, I wonder if I can just... Wah! Oh, cool! <laughs> I jumped. Oh, that one sends me, like, going further up again. And what is... Here. I go this way. Okay, oh, it's it's over there. Oh, yeah, if I go that way, actually. Yeah, I just jump off. I can get that connector. And get that connector. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, like from here. I go here. Boom. I'm gonna use this to get the green. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> we shall see if anything works. But I have another connector now, so I, I, I feel happier having this in my hands. Now that I'm holding on to this, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I have the components. Maybe. Oh no, that's the grav shifter. Ha ha. That's what's making this beam. It's not a connector. I don't know why I thought it was a connector. Hello. All right, but how did... Okay, yeah, and then from here... I can reach the green. I can see the green. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna fall off. Up the green. Okay, I can see that green. <gasps> yes! If I put it up here. Yes! Yeah, look at that! I did it! Boom! Checkpoint! Haha! -ha. I feel smart. I feel smart for about five minutes now, and I'm gonna get lost again. <laughs> but yay! Checkpoint! Ooh. Oh, thank goodness it's giving me more connectors. <laughs> I have connector. Oh, goodness me. What on earth do I need to connect? <laughs> There's a lot of connectors. I don't know where I need them to be. There's a lot of fans too. Oh, I guess I start by just doing like that. So we can get that fan going and then I guess I can still take a connector with me over the fan? Alright, fan journey! There's a button. And there's another fan. Is this fan just to go back? Or will this fan boot me into this gravity thing? What does this button do? Where does this fan go? Fan goes just up there. Oh, there's a there's a gate up there. Okay. Right, I think what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna do that. Okay, it doesn't boot me up into the, the gravity thing. But now it's on the button and it's also connected to keep this fan going, so. So now I'm gonna go over on this fan with connector. Oh no, never mind. It was a purple. I. <laughs> it was a purple wall. Of course I can't take the connector with me. Oh, I see up there. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I reached the checkpoint. So. I feel like I still need to connect things over there, but it's okay. Okay, sideways. 
Yeah, this is the one that needs to be connected to green to make that fan work. I'm so disoriented. This place is so disorienting. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm around, like, this side. Again, where the green is. Ha! Okay, and then up here. Up and around here we have more... Another checkpoint reached. Oh, they're being generous with the checkpoints now, at least, which is nice. Oh! Ooh. Okay. That's the grab beam. Okay, yes. Oh, that one is going. Hello! Maze? I don't want to do a maze. Where am I going? Where do I want to get to? Over there. That's where I want to get to. So. Okay, great. So I go here. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Add around. Oh, solid ground. Ish. Okay. Okay, I'm the right way up. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I was not the right way up for very long. Haha. <laughs> I'm really glad that there are different different patterns for like the ceiling. <laughs> Because it does help me realize a bit more. It's like when it's like an angle that it shouldn't be. Being able to see the different texture does help. All right. Which way is the floor here? Just disengage. It's this way. Okay. Aha! How do I open this gate? Is the gate there because this is connected to the blue? Checkpoint reached. Yeah, it opened. I think. Yes, it opened. And I have a connector. Let's go down. I'm doing it. <laughs> Slowly but surely. I'm still, I'm getting so lost. Oh, now we have a little spiral staircase. It feels so counterproductive. Like I'm trying to get up in this thing and I'm just going all the way down again. But I'm sure there's a good reason. Okay, I'm back around like where the green is. Okay. So do I need to like connect the green to one of those red ones up there so I can get that green in the middle? Oh wait, no, it's right here, hold on. Where's the green at? Oh, it's a little bit too far down there. Come on, I can connect to a green from here. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, now that fan's working. Hey, hey, hey. And so now I can go a boop. Where am I? Whoa, that was fast. 
Whoa, that was a little dangerous. That was a little dangerous, Barzai. That hurt. Risky puzzles. Health and safety. What are you doing? That was a high force. I'm sure 1K loved it. <laughs> right. Wonderful. Wonderful. I love it. Great. Hmm. That's blocked. That's blocked. Oh! And go this way. Oh! Hmm. Okay, I need blue here. If I didn't bring a connector with me, I don't have a connector that I brought with me. Because there was, like, the purple wall. So I need to find a connector I can pick up. Is there a connector around here? I hear one. I can hear connectors. They're going to be on the ceiling, aren't they? I I'm not going to be able to reach them. Uh, I would like a connector, please. Hello. Okay. 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 Okay, I'll go on the wall. Okay, I'm, I'm getting so... I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just, like, presuming that because things look different that I've managed to go the right way. But I think it's working so far. Right, so now I've got this. Which I can take back with me. To, to connect it to that uh, blue connector now. And a boop. I can remember how to get back there. Hee <laughs> hee. And this way? I'm the right way up. Yes! Okay, I made it! I made it! I made it! I made it! Don't look down! Uh, don't look up! Don't look sideways. Don't... Um... Don't look. <laughs> Just don't look. Just... Okay, where's the blue? I swear I saw a blue. Where did I see the blue? Oh, there. Hey, there we go. Okay. Now I have a jammer. Shall we use to jam this? Oh no, I can't bring this through. Oh, but I can if I jam it this way. Oh no, I can't. Okay, no, I, I can't bring anything in here. So I can't bring jammer? is open now then at least I don't know why I did that I don't know why like this jammer is here if I can't bring it out it's just surrounded with purple what else do I need to jam wait oh is there something oh I no <laughs> um it's 12.42 a.m. I don't have much of a defense other than that. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I have connector. It was right there. It's like, what the heck do I connect this to? Nothing. Okay, boost. Oh no, connect to both of them. Let's boost that to open it. And now they're self sustaining. Yay! I love when that happens. Oh, and now we do this one as well. So I think what I do here is I just... Yeah. I just go onto the floor and do it like that. Haha. 
Self-sustaining, yay! Now I need to get back up here. Oh, I can, okay. Yay! Ooh, okay. Hmm. How to open? Oh, pressure plate. Ah! Nice. I see. I, this is actually really cool. I'm, I'm definitely getting very disoriented doing it, but it's really interesting. It's very cool. I like the way it's set up. It's a little bit silly in the best kind of way. Oh, it took you way too long to realize there was a gap between the blue shields. It was the first thing I noticed. I was like, there's a little gap. That these are two separate things. I gotta, I gotta smoosh something in there. Okay. Right, over here. Boop. And I go up here. Where am I? I go up, I go down. Okay. I'm just following, I'm just following the stairs. Following the paths that the game gives me. I'm like, if there's a path here, I probably go this way. Oh, hey. Ha. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I'm starting with this. All right, let me see what's up here first. I see the blue laser. Okay, okay, I see this. This feels this feels like an end goal. That feels like a. This is what I need to aim to be doing. Goal. So. get back up using that oh this is back where the fans are this is where the fans are this is where my connector is it's where i left my connector behind oh my goodness oh my goodness you're coming home my little connector it's so good to have you here there's one connector and two connector and I think I can just bring that third one as well, right? I think I can just bring this. Yeah, I got all three. I got three connectors. I just need to find the lasers. And then I can connect them all. In theory. I will be very proud. If I can do this. Right. Let's see what I can see. Right, blue laser is here. Blue. Feels very straightforward. Connected. Let's take... Oh. Ah, yeah, I have to have the button press to have the gravity lift activated. That makes sense. <laughs> Friendship with Cube over. Connector is new best friend. Well, oh, I, I can have many friends. It's like friendship regained with Cube and Connector. I, I have two hands. <laughs> right, now where is... Where's the red and where's the green? Can I even see from here? I see the red. Okay, there's the red. So I can connect that here. Yes. No, I just need green. I just need green. Where's the green? Where's the green? Where's the green? 
hoping the green's gonna be further along this end. Yes, I see the green. <gasps> yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> I don't know what that did, but I connected all three of them. I connected them. I connected them, but I don't know what it does. Oh, it opens this. Oh, and I can... Okay. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is really cool. It is wild. It is so wild. But I am here for it. Barzai, you wild, magnificent genius. Okay, I need red. Oh! Also, oh, Santa, hi! Oh my goodness, I didn't even spot that. I am so absorbed in lasers right now. I am, I am, I am not just in the cube. I am the cube. I've, I've become the cube. I'm at one with the cube. But thank you for the resub. <laughs> thank you for the 37 months. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. But hi, you arrived right, right as I solved this. I am feeling so proud of myself. I had a moment when I stepped in here where I was like, this may be a not doing this at past midnight puzzle, but I did it. I did it. I feel so powerful right now. Well, I feel congratulations oh to Yakut goodness. for solving the hexahedron. The grand prize is yours, and that prize is... Satisfaction? A sense of yes! accomplishment and fun. Yes, that's my favorite reward. Remember that our history has been defined oh. by necessity. And let us hope that this place is the first sign of the oh, coming I world. Love this. The world of freedom. I'm so proud. I'm so happy. You did it. Yeah. Well done. I did do it. Yeah. I can't believe it. This feels incredible. I feel like I can do anything now. I could. I could submit the new navigational system I've been working yes. on. I could. Could I? You yes. could. Miranda? Yes, you could. Will you move in with me? <gasps> move in with you. Um. I cannot think. Yes? Yes. Yes! yes! But you do realize this has nothing to do with solving the puzzles, right? You don't need to impress me. Yeah, but, but solving the puzzles... I do impress you, don't I? Made him confident. Yakut, yes! the master oh puzzler! He yes! navigates the galaxy and the secrets of the... the of the, the puzzles on the... the, the weird the, yeah, bars I... I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yes, dear. You're very impressive. And you're gonna move in with me? Like, I, I, I didn't hallucinate that? Yes. I will. Most of my stuff is already at your place. <laughs> she kind of already has, huh? Were we ever like that? <sighs> Not really. We had so many responsibilities, so much to worry about. The weight of history, the endless problems, all oh. that grief. It was a miracle we found time for each other at all. But this, <laughs> them, that's the point. So many generations sacrificed so much Millions of years of human history of <laughs> suffering and struggle. What would be the point if the world didn't get better? So true. You're very wise, you know that? It's the deep voice. It's true, the voice does help, definitely. But yes, Yakut is such a nerd. I, I adore him. I guess I could do the gold puzzles now. <laughs> There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of him. I love him so much. Oh, I could talk to Barzai now. There's going to be more stuff for Barzai to say. I love this design so much. Oh, is it bad? I kind of want to design like a custom what my Talos principal human skin would be. Well done, my friend. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. What do you think our future will be like? What do you think our future will be like? 
We were born into a world with so little freedom that we are still learning to imagine what liberation truly means. But I am excited to find out. Yeah! Thanks. I should go. Okay, okay, so I've done all the puzzles, I've done the hexahedron, that was incredible and wild, and I had so much fun doing it, and I'm probably not going to do it again, unless I have to. Uh, I've done both of the Prometheus, I've done both of the Athena, and I haven't done any Sphinx. So I think it's time for the Sphinx monuments. Right, I need to figure out where the other monument even is to begin with. Like, I, 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 I haven't seen it. I haven't unlocked, like, the, the puzzle for it. I genuinely don't know where it is. The crabs. Pandora, what did I say? What did I say if I didn't say Pandora? I'm, I'm so, I'm, I, I feel like my whole brain has just melted now. I'm like, I, Athena, that's... <laughs> So different. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Athena would have puzzles if I asked her. No, I don't think she would. She'd, she'd tell me to go away and let her enjoy her vacation. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's okay. I don't need words. I used to pull the brain cells in the hexahedron. Now I'm just like, it's that moment of just, well, I did it. Right, now the question is, do I gold puzzle? I want to find this Sphinx. It's, it's already like 5 to 1 in the morning. It's almost 1 a.m. I do want to find this other Sphinx so I can at least look at, look at the clue for it. But I don't think I'm going to be starting the gold puzzles yet. I think that's going to be... That's going to be my warm-up for DLC 3 next week. I'm going to use the gold puzzles here as a warm-up and then jump into the abyss. <laughs> Which I am extremely excited for. I'm very, very excited. Right. What happens if I just go a uh, boop? Have I wandered around here? I don't think I've wandered, like around this side of the map. Might be something here. Let us see. Also, thank you for wasting 10,000 points. Since there's no abyss today, we shall feed it. Feed it today so that next week it shall be merciful. Hopefully. Probably not. Okay, no, I have been here because I heard that thing. How have I managed to miss this other Sphinx so spectacularly? I've probably walked past it and just completely not passed it in my brain. Like I've, I've just like, spun the camera around to look at it and just been like, that's not a thing, I'm fine. Oh, maybe like, oh. Around up here, oh, this umbrella's closed. not. Hmm. Okay, final challenge of the stream. Final challenge of the stream. I just need to find this tower. I just need to find where it is. It's probably going to be in like the most obvious clear place and I've just walked straight past it multiple times. But it's okay. That's too deep. That's too deep. I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to go in that water. That's that's not not good water. That's not friendly water. Hmm. Ah, uh, you need to sleep now. Oh, that's totally fine. Yes, please go to sleep. I'm going to be going to bed soon too as well. <laughs> but thank you for stopping in. Thank you for the lurk. This is deep water. I don't want to be here. How have I managed to miss this? 
Okay, I'm going back to the, the green area. This is not the way to go back to the green area. Hold on. Oh, kind of? I wonder if I can reach Prometheus from here. Oh, I think I can. I think the water's shallow enough here. I can walk across. Okay. Okay, I found Prometheus right here. I found the Pandora statue, like, around back there. I don't think I found any in area two. I think it was just one and three. So I found Prometheus and Pandora here, but I didn't find a Sphinx. So maybe there is a Sphinx in the green area that I've missed. Maybe... Maybe up here? No, I found lots of crabs, though. At least I found crabs. Honestly, the whole stream was worth it for the crabs. Just, that that's all I, I wanted from this. this hard. It can't be this hard to find. I, I feel like I'm being silly. Oh, that's <laughs> oh I don't want to end until I find it now, though. I, I, it'd be so funny if I end up streaming until like 2am just because I can't find this silly monument. I'm sorry, it's not a silly monument. It's a very cool one. Oh, that's the gold. That's the gold puzzle, isn't it? No, that's eight. Okay. But I can talk to them. I wonder if I can talk to them about... Oh, not... Mar I talked to Miranda. She made this. Oh, I love that. I wonder if they, I can talk to them about um, Herman and Melville. Hi, Cornelius. Congratulations, Yakut. Yeah! You've made Miranda very happy, and I'm grateful for that. Oh, I'm just asking everyone about the future now. Where do you think we'll be in a thousand years? Wherever we want to be. So true. Okay. I should... Yeah. Off you go. Hi, hi, hi. 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 Where do you see us in a thousand years? I see us having completely different bodies, new senses, new abilities. But deep down, we'll still be ourselves. Yeah. You'll be cute and I'll be brilliant. Yeah, cute. I see us exploring and building and bringing life to the universe together. I see, I see. Yakut is your, your bit of eye candy. Having someone like you oh. is all I ever wanted. This is so sweet. I love these two so much. I love all of them. All right. Gotta go. Love you. <laughs> love you too. I just love this whole family. I just, I adore them so much. Okay. Oh, I wonder if it's like up. Like on top of this puzzle. If I can get up here. Can I get up here? Come on, there's got to be a way I can get up here. Oh, I feel like I nearly had it there. Come on, I can get up there, right? I can get up there? I can get up there very easily, never mind. I wonder if there's anything like around the side up here. I can't see! <laughs> oh, the music! It's like, it's, it's the ending theme! It's like a rearrangement of the ending theme! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! this game. Oh! <laughs> I found it! I found
found it. How did I run past that? How did I run past that? Probably numerous times. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Okay, this is like a circle with two bits out of the middle, and then it's like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. You know there's a compass, right? I remember that. <laughs> I definitely remember that. <laughs> um, I... I, 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 I definitely did not forget about that since playing the game um, months ago. I def definitely remember that was a, a thing. Who, who'd forget? Who'd forget that? Who? Uh, what kind of silly bean would forget <laughs> such an integral, <laughs> integral part of the game? I forgot about the compass. I fully forgot about it. I just... It's been there the whole time. I've just been... Like, I just blanked it out of my brain. It's been there the whole time. I just fully did not pass it at all. Oh my goodness. I am... That's, that's like a special moment even for me. That is like... I am... That's a really powerful thing for me to have forgotten. I'm... I don't know how to... Th I don't know how to feel about this. I can't believe I forgot that. Right, I'm having a quick look up and around, and I don't see anything that immediately points out to me as this kind of pattern, so... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'm going to pop into here to save the game. And next time, my warm-up will be the gold puzzles here and the, the two Sphinx monuments. And then, fingers crossed, hopefully, that won't take me four hours and I'll be able to dip my toe into the abyss, which I am very excited for but yes that is probably a sign that i should go to bed i think i should go to bed <laughs> just a feeling i think it's probably about time for me to get some rest but this was so much fun this was such a, a productive stream i i feel smart i feel powerful after doing the the hexahedron i'm it felt very, like, it was trippy in remembering the way to go and figuring which way was up. But the puzzles themselves were very straightforward. It was very nice. It was like, this thing leads into this thing. And then that leads into this thing. And then that leads into this thing. It, it felt more like taking a journey than, like, really tricky puzzle solving. And I really enjoyed that. I thought it was cool. It was a really cool aspect. But yeah, I think that's enough for now. It is time for me to... Bloop. I'll head on over to here and we can find a raid target. <laughs> but thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. We got the crab rave. We got cube. Um, we, I, I got the knowledge regained of the compass existing. I, I genuinely, I'm, I can't believe I forgot that. Like, I've, I'm just genuinely in disbelief. I can't believe I forgot that that was it was even there. It's on the screen. It was on the top of the screen. And I just forgot about it completely. I think because I didn't get so lost looking for the puzzles, like the puzzles were on like straightforward paths, I kind of didn't need to use it, so I forgot it was there. Except for when I really did need to use it. But it's okay. It's okay, I know now. So I'll at least when I solve the Sphinx puzzles, I'll know how to get back. <laughs> I'll know how to find them again. But yes, let's find a raid target so I can put my poor overused brain to sleep. Who shall I raid? I think I'm gonna raid Cassandra. I am. 
I'm gonna raid Cassandra. I'm gonna send the raid over to check these. Check these is great. He's a very cool guy. He's doing a subathon at the moment. He's doing a subathon for like all of July. <laughs> and he is. He's such like a powerful streamer. Like he streamed for like a ridiculous amount of days in a row. He's like so dedicated. He's very passionate and I it's like it's such an admirable trait to me, I think. But yeah, oh, the puzzles in the base game were all on paths too, but the lost puzzles weren't. But yeah, yeah, I didn't I didn't use the compass because there were the the boards, the map boards. Cuz I was teleporting with the maps. I was using that map. And I think that might be a part of why I forgot about the compass too because of the map being there. But yeah, that's so interesting. I'm just, I'm so amused that I forgot that. But yes, I'm going to send you over to check these. Uh, he's currently playing Digimon World. <laughs> and he's really cool. He's a really cool guy. And I want to support him while the subathon's going on. So I'm going to send you over his way. Uh, here is the raid message. If you're subbed, we've got bongos. If not, we will send hearts. And I will send you over to Cassandra Torren, my favorite uh, consistent, inconsistent streamer, because he, he plays like everything. He's like the truest definition of variety streamer. He's, he's played like everything. But he's very cool. And I'm glad I get the chance to raid him. But yeah, I definitely need some sleep now. I gotta rest. I, I used up the brain. The brain is gone, as you saw at the end there. <laughs> But it's been really nice. Uh, my schedule for next week will be up at some point tomorrow when I make it. But uh, that's it from me for now. And yeah, I hope everyone has a lovely day, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time it is. And I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye.